Washing machines live longer with Calgon. And here we go, we have some Calgon. Have we got any viewers? Hubby Lux is the cameraman. Is anybody watching? No. Nobody's watching yet, anyway, so I may have to do the Calgon washing machine um, bit again, anyway. So, what are we going to be doing today? I had an email or message this week regarding the 12 kilogram capacity of the washing machine. So in this basket that you can see here, I have weighed it with a luggage scale and this is 12 kilos of luggage, of, um, luggage. 12 kilos of um, laundry. So eight last people. week was a bit of a eight week. Uh, Hubby Lux is the cameraman, so if you want to say hello to Hubby Lux, then message him and he'll see it because he's been the cameraman for the moment. Happy luck, say hello. Hello, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got eight people watching. So, this is 12 kilograms of laundry. So, let's first of all see if we can fit 12 kilograms in weight of laundry into the machine, and then we'll do a wash. So, let's get the load in. Come in closer, happy luck. So I'm going to be using these scent boosters from the, I think it was from, was it from Poundland we had these? I think so. Yeah, from Poundland. There's a, there's a couple there. So I'm going to put them in, finish it off. The detergent that we're going to be using is this Almat with stain lift technology, biological. Outstanding cleaning at 15 degrees. It's 21 uh, loads. But again, it depends on the washing machine. So this is uh, only for a 4.5 kilogram machine up to the 50 mils. So that's 30, 30 mils, 50 mils. So up to there is 50 mils. So basically I'm gonna need, well, almost 150 mils. So I'm gonna pour in the first 50. because it's a full 12 kilogram load. So in goes the first one. And I'm gonna pour this directly into the machine to, and then, there we go, three. That's 150 mils inside. Right, okay, let's start loading this. And let's see how far we can get to make it e the 12 kilograms, because even though this machine is 12 kilograms, who's to say that I'm actually gonna be able to fit in 12 kilograms of laundry? So, I'll try and put them in all nicely and neat so that we are getting in as much of everything as we can. I personally don't think we're gonna get everything in this machine that's in the basket, because the basket has been squished down. Any comments yet, Hubby Lux? Actually, let me turn on my Lamb iPad, hang on a second, guys. Let's have a look. Let me just reset. 13 people now. 13, oh, hello, 13 people. Let's have a look. Hopefully, YouTube's not gonna crash today. Uh, okay, there we go, we are there, let me turn the volume down. Okay. Oops. Let's have a look at the comments. Uh, Jebby Chapman, hi. Chris, hi. Hi, Happy Lux. Hey, hey. Morgan Leatherland, hey, hello. Dave Jones, hello, Scott. Uh, I'm Dawn's sister. I'm doing it for her today, okay? Uh, Morgan Leatherland, oh, that's Dawnie's, uh, Dawnie's sister in law. Uh, Dave Jones, get it all in. Morgan. Brother, I mean, not sister. <laughs> uh, you were supposed to use more Al Matt. Uh, I, I think I've used it enough. No cheating. Jay, hi, Morgan, brother. Can you show them going into the dryer? I will. 
Uh, Dave and level 13, and lucky for some. Raheem, hi. Patrick, hello, baby. Bab, and Graham Clifford, if I that you do bear dinner. Okay. Uh, pot, pour lots of Lenore in. Okay. Uh, I have lots of Lenore there. That's right. So let me continue trying to get in as much as I can. I've put the, I haven't put the shirts in yet. Uh, bland pants. There are lots of bland pants in here today. Hubby Luxes. Tradies. Pour it to the max. Um, I have... Uh, Dave is watching. I'm going to be washing my pussies today. So pussies are going in the machine. Actually, I'm going to turn this inside out. While I wash my pussies. Because I don't want my pussies to fade. I don't like faded pussies. My pussy's gone crazy. My pussy's gone crazy. Any questions coming up as your cameraman in Happy Looks? Mm. Just waiting. There's 16 people now. Woohoo! 15. <laughs> I wonder if um, our sister's watching. Oh, Scott Martin had his message retracted. Oh. Squishing it all in. Are you okay? What cycle are you using? Um, I don't know yet, guys, so you can help me pick the cycle. Where's uh, Jay's watching? Jay that was who asked the question. Jay? Yeah. Ah. I don't know yet, Jay. Do you do birthday show? Um, I have some birthday videos that um, I've put out there, like specials and stuff. Um, we did one this year, didn't we? Because we did the... Um, what was it the, that you bought me? The uh, roller cab thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out. That's used mix load. No used dark wash. That was... Jay. Uh, I can't use darks because it's too short. I'm going to need a longer wash on this. There is no way that I'm going to be able to get the shirts no, in. No, don't ram them in. No, I'm not going to ram the shirts in because they'll be creased to buggery otherwise. Cotton and would be the best. Yes, I agree. How many vacuums do you have? Uh, one, two... Three, four, right, I've got five shirts, guys, that I am just simply not going to be able to fit in the wash. These are just not going to be able to fit in, so I'm sorry. It can take 12 kilograms, so I reckon its load is about 11 at the moment. Right, I'm just going to check them out today. So there we go, that is the load. It's a big load today. Right, come closer over to here. And here we have the drawer. And as Jay said, we're going to fill this up to the max. Use lots. And I'm going to pour in some of the washing machines live longer with Calgon. Right, okay, so let's turn on the beast. Let's wash my ginormous load. And we will use the cotton cycle today. We are gonna do an intensive wash. We will do it at 40 degrees. We will do three rinses at 1400. Does anybody want a pre-wash? Shall we do a pre-wash? Is it necessary? Morgan? Yes. yes. Okay, so we're going to do a pre-wash. Uh, for that, I'm going to use the Almat colour tablets. So for the pre-wash, I'm going to press pre-wash, there we go. 
And I'm going to put in the Almax tablets into... Washer pan said no because the liquid would all be used in the pre-wash. No, 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 because the pre-wash used... Oh, yeah, of course, I can't, can I? Oh, do you know what? You're absolutely right. Thank God washer fan was washing. No pre-wash, because that is dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, right, okay, let's detect the load. Let's put the light on. You and let's kidding. see how long it's going to take. And closer, have your legs. Oh, it doesn't read it. It does if you go closer. Oh, yeah. So, first of all, we're going to find out how big the load is. I think two hours. Uh, Morgan, I think you're absolutely right. Dorian, do you find Calgon liquid better than Calgon tablets? Um, to be honest, the only reason I had the Calgon liquid was because I got it from... Oh, look, full load. So it has detected a full load. Two hours and 15. I reckon two hours, 30 minutes. Oh, my God. Four hours, 24. Um, I think we're going to change the wash. Hang on a second. We're going to go rogue and we're going to change the wash to normal. Let's try it again. Exactly. Four hours, 24. That would be the longest load ever. Uh, I hope Toji's not watching because he's going to go... He, he wouldn't like me doing that, <laughs> going, going a bit rogue. Toji would flip out. Yes, he would flip out. Uh, normally, I only use Calgon in the um, hotter washes, but I thought stuff it today. So, funnily enough, it's not showing a full load this time. Four hours and seven minutes. Ooh. Oh, hang on a second. Whoop. My camera's going crazy. There we go. Ooh. Hang on a second, guys. There we go. Right, okay. Let's get the camera into position. See you in a minute, hubby Lux. Now we've got a sock that is stuck. If you guys can see that stuck sock, this is an issue that the washing machine does sometimes have. So, oh, bloody hell. I've had this issue before where I've had a, a small sock stuck into that position so I'm gonna to have to have a look and see if it comes unstuck if it doesn't I'm gonna to have to stop the wash or pause it anyway Toji thank God you weren't here for the beginning of the wash Thankfully, Toji was late to the party, otherwise he wouldn't be happy with me right now.
No, no, nothing, Toji. We um, rogue. No, no, we don't mean anything about rogue. Nothing went rogue, did it? I'm wondering if that sock is going to move, so we will wait and see. Uh, can you change it to mix? No, I'm going to leave it as it is now. Not again, just leave it, Dorian, now, otherwise you'll be here for hours whilst you make your mind up about what to uh, Yeah, I absolutely agree. Um, if anyone's going to be here for the full four hours, then welcome, get yourself some cocoa. No, I can't change it now, because if I do, it's just going to go crazy. Uh, we are doing a cotton at 40 on a normal wash. Scott Martin, do you do a birthday shout out? Oh, uh, Scott Martin, happy birthday for tomorrow, my friend, everybody. It's going to be Scott Martin's birthday. Max, I'll go for dinner at some point, but then I'll be back. I'm ready for four hours. <laughs> oh, Maxi. Raheem, yes, I'm just going to leave it. I need to make up for um, last week's fiasco vlog. Toji, I can do four hours. Good lad. I might leave for a minute. N no worries. Uh, where is Reese? Uh, I, I I think he's relaxing this weekend. I am I haven't spoke to him this much. Thomas Webster, can you read my last comment? Hang on a second. Thomas, uh, we will be here till twenty five past ten. So get comfy. <laughs> get comfy, girls. Get yourself some cocoa. Uh, Mark, I hope you're having a good weekend, Dorian. How are the NV two fifties? They are all very, very good. They are just sat in the garage at the moment. Well, when I have it charged up a bit, that is. <laughs> yeah, Toji, make sure you've got yourself a power bank. Uh, James, you were doing a good job. Oh, thank you, James. Um, has everyone been watching the um, Hoover Junior refurb videos that I've been doing? Uh, Jay, you should change it to a faster cycle. LG takes the piss at times, takes forever. It's true, but the thing about it is now, if I change the cycle and all the clothes are wet, it's going to detect an extremely wet, uh, heavy load. Now, Toji, I have something to tell you, because I think you missed the beginning of the video. Earlier in the week, I had a request uh, for doing a 12 kilogram load. So I have in the basket measured out 12 kilograms of clothing using a luggage weigh, um, but unfortunately it wouldn't all fit in. So this is a very, very heavy, heavy load. Um, I, I reckon it's, there's about 11 kilos of clothing in there. Uh, Morgan Leatherland, yes. I can't change it, Morgan. If I do, it's really going to take another... It'll go like eight hours. Um, Trains of Britain, I hit 60 subscribers last weekend. Now I'm at 63, famous I wish. Uh, everybody go and check out Trains of Britain's channel. Let's get, let's get max to 100 subs. Um, how about this sock? Yeah, I think it's gonna get stuck, isn't it? I can see it just sitting there like a lemon. I've had this happen before. That is one bad thing about the design of this door. I have had socks get stuck and I have also had um, something else got stuck as well. What was the other thing that got stuck? 
Oh yeah, it was the um, the washing pods. The washing pods got stuck on it. Right, so I'm gonna have to. Oh, hang on, I wish for it to stop. Hang on a sec. Let me get myself a comfy. I refilled this bean bag with beans. And I think I put too many in. I can't get it really squishy comfy. Where's my, uh, there we go, there's my little doggy. Oh, there we go, that's better, I can see you now as well. Um, I love that quick release. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad actually, and the the door on is pretty good as well. It's just that stuff gets stuck in there. I've had it there before. Um, let's have a look. Okay, washing boy. Hi, Toji. How many bars did it say on the screen? Um, when I first put it on, and I did it on an intensive, it showed um, all the bars. It showed a full load. Then when I changed it then from the intensive to normal wash, oh, I'm using my... Um, gimbal my three axis gimbal it's going crazy oh god you can practically see the tumble dryer now as well take the weight but can it fit in yes that's exactly the thing it may take the weight but can it fit which is like me i can take the width but i can i take it okay um i was watching dirty searcher part five you interrupted yourself on <laughs> dirty searcher uh Hot now. Many things get stuck when Dorian's about. Oh, you minx. Um, da -da 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 -da. Thomas Webster, eating Pringles and watching a washing machine. Good mix. <laughs> Jay, how come you put the tablets in as well as the gel? Well, I did put the tablets in to do a pre wash, and then thankfully somebody said to me, hang on a second. You can't do a pre-wash because you put the liquid in the drum. So I had to take the tablets out. Mark Fontaine. Hey, Dorian. Hey, Mark. James. Got DCO4 parts, lime, green and grey that I don't need. Toji. Hold on, Dorian. I'll be back after a bit. I charge my phone up a bit. Toji, you need to get yourself a... Um, you need to get yourself a um, power brick. Mark, I'm so glad this is working. Missed you last week. My AEG has died getting an intercept. Oh, your AEG. Oh, no. What happened to it? What happened to your AEG? Uh, Morgan Leatherland, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay now. Uh, James, don't know. Toji retracted. Max, oh, well. Needed them for my absolute. Currently has purple tools. Oh, well. 
Mark, have you got the infrared thermometer to hand? I do. <clears throat> if anyone's got dogs that don't like this noise. Current internal temperature is 17.6 degrees centigrade. Uh, hi, AG died getting an intercept. Missed you as we go. What's the glass temperature? Hello, Dorian. How are you tonight, Louise? Hi, Louise. I'm okay. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, Train to Britain. When the gay is so on fire that the gimmick fan comes out. Mmm, girl. Um, hi, made it to a stream for a while. I think we're going to be fine now. Toji, I'll be back, so wait for me. We will, my friend. We've got another three hours and 56 minutes. Mark, is it not heating correctly? Washed cottons, cold, had enough. Edward Byrne, hey girl. Dave, how hot are you, Mr. Lux? More than you'll ever know, Davey. Mark Leslie, looks like it hasn't started heating yet. Morgan, do you want any spare Dyson DC01 parts? Um, no, I think I've got everything that I need at the moment for the DC01. I don't think I need any spare parts apart from possibly a brush roll. J Phantom, way too long to wash. Ah, well. It's my fault, I way overloaded it and I could have put it on a turbo wash. I put it on a normal wash, um, but I could have put it on a turbo wash. In hindsight, I should have done a turbo wash. I'll do a turbo wash next week, right? I'll do a I'll do a white load. I'll save up all the towels and everything, and we'll do a white load um, at sixty. And I'll do a cottons exactly the same, but I'll do a cotton, but I'll do an intensive one, right? Edward Burns, three hours is ages. Oh, Edward, I pity the girl that you're going out with that three hours is too short. Two is too, um, is ages. Why do people have the need to mention that you're gay? What does it matter if you're gay? Goodness sake. Oh, that's all right, Louise. I'm a little bit of a gay goddess. Max is my friend. Uh... Garrett, remember when I told you that I came out to a few friends? I would like to know your experience when you came out, just for curiosity. Okay, I'll tell you now. Um, J, turbo wash is for half or under loads. Um, yeah, possibly, but I have used it on big loads before. It still seems to take the time. I've banned... I've been banned from P&G customer services. Too many calls. They refuse now to talk to me, so switch to Purcell. Mark Fontaine. Uh, P&G. Why would you... Why did you contact them? Were you having issues? Or did you have questions? Uh, Dave, you need the rinses. Yep, there's a lot of pants in there, Dave. Not a lot of rinses required. You are a minx. Um, believe me, I'm not a homophobe. I'm a homosexual <laughs> myself and all friends. And it's a joke. Yeah, don't worry. She knows. It's all right. There's a lot of people that just won't get our humour. So we'll just explain. We're okay, Maxie. How many rinses? Um, three. Mark Fontaine. I had issues too, but too many calls... Now, so banned from their customer services. Oh. Seems a full 12 kilograms in there. Mm, I weighed the basket and it was 12 kilograms, but I didn't put all the shirts in, so I reckon it's about 11 kilos. <clears throat> Have you got a vacuum in there? <laughs> yeah. 
two DC-07s and a Mela C3. Oh, you can't see my puppy. Millie! Millie Lou! Come on, come see Daddy. Quick, come on, up, up. Quick, 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 quick. Come up here, see Daddy, quick. Quick, come on. Uh, Gilligan's out for a walk. Scott uh, Hubby Lux has taken him out for a walk. I have recently bought myself an Electrolux Upright 1451, which was one of the first uprights to be sold in the United States. Ah, I, yeah, they um, they were very similar to the um, to the 500 series, I believe, weren't they in the UK? Washing by Hildeside. Uh, uh, can you show one of them? Oh, so there we go. There's Millie. This is Millie Lou. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Louise. You're all right, my friend. Louise loves me. Louise loves me. Louise is going to be my um, fag hag. Max. Oh, my God. I had a panic attack earlier. I was scrolling through Instagram, and one of the gaming YouTubers I watch is having... Uh, house renovations there was a miller or oh, melee s8 or c3 couldn't tell wrecked in the pit oh. <gasps> maybe there's somebody at the front door it's daddy <gasps> there's daddy now if you can see the washing machine at the moment this is one of the perfect good reasons why you shouldn't overfill them um, it looks pretty packed. There's not much movement going on there, but um, I don't do requests, but I, out of curiosity, I wanted to see if 12 kilograms of clothing could actually fit in there, which is the reason, in my opinion, oh, we're going to have to change it. Hang on, guys. Let me jump down myself. For some reason, my gimbal, I think it's got like a, um, it's got uh, a thing on there where it's sort of like if it's stationary, it's fully charged, then um, it just switches itself off. So I'm going to have to go back to using my bog standard holder. Hang on a sec. Yeah. The gimbal is absolutely fantastic. It's so smooth. It's amazing. So if I held it there, and then I, I'm twisting the camera up and down, but it's staying absolutely stationary. So let me disconnect this. Can you hold this camera for me a moment, Hubby Lux? Nope. Right, I need to get this off without switching anything off. It's a pug in a truck. second there to just hold that while I take the base off this that's the um, gimbal right I'm gonna screw this back in Ah, oh, bloody hell. If it's not bloody YouTube that's um, crashing. It's me with my bloody technology. Right. 
you are now back on the little mini tripod that I normally use. And that's it. Now you can see the display, you can see the washing machine, you can see the tumble dryer. You can see me. Right. Right, Rowan, all my washing is done apart from a few darks and the clothes we have got on. Got all the day's tea towel, deep tea. Sixty-nine and five rinses. Um, on my Samsung. Where's Dexter? Oh, Dexter's gone upstairs. Uh, Jonathan Smith. Hi, Hooverlux. I'm Finley, and I collect vacuums. Hi, Finley. Uh, what vacuums do you have, my friend? Daily wash sixty. I meant sixty. Uh, I know what you're on about. Sixty-nine. You minx. Edward, is that a rubber ball, the green thing in the machine? No, it was the um, the measuring lid of the Almat. How much gel did you use? Um, as, as according to the Almat, it was 150 millilitres. I thought that was a really, was a real bug on the floor. Um, it's Little Willy! Oh, I used to like Little Willy, um, Ethel's dog. Louise Sturton. Hi, Happy Lux. Hope you are well. Yes, Louise, I'm very well. Thank you very much. Can I join? J Phantom. Can I join? Join what? Uh, what's your favourite upright vacuum? My favourite upright vacuum is the Hoover Turbo Master total system in Cotswold Beige. Craig, hello all, hello Craig my friend. Go and check out Craig's channel. Raheem Grant, I'm back. Hey Raheem, mm, can you do a pneumatic video this week? Um, no, because I've already, I'm already scheduled up now for the rest of the month. Um, later on I'll tell you what my um, what my videos are for the week. And I know for a fact that tomorrow and Tuesday, well, tomorrow is part seven of the Hoover Junior Dirt Searcher. Tuesday is part eight, which is the whole house demo video. Uh, Wednesday is Washy Wednesday. So I'm still using the Australian detergents then. Um, and I'll tell you what the rest of the week has. Thomas Webster, did I miss anything important? Um, no, not really. J Phantom, please could you make me a moderator? You would be my forever friend. How do you do that? Um, oh, there we go. Hang on. There we go. Using Ariel and Comfort. Uh, Craig, did you ever finish the twin tub washer? Uh, no, not really, because I'm stuck on a part that I need, which is quite detrimental, and it's a really awkward little part. Um, basically, I just don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm kind of stuck at the minute. Bob Surrey, your Dyson DC07 click inspired me to get one, and I found one on eBay for £25, including postage. Only bad part is that the machine is disgusting and needs full strip down, including a rebelt. <clears throat> ah, I'm really glad you got one, Bob. That's really cool. Twenty five quid. That's a bargain. Um, but the the thing about it is, with the with those ones which are filthy, this the satisfaction of um, cleaning it. 
Now, please don't think I'm being stupid, but do you know how to do it? Um, Jonathan Smith, I like the Mila's. I like Mila's as well. I like Mila cylinders. I like Mila uprights, but they're just too damn heavy, but they are very good. Um, and Mila washing machines, I've never, I've never had any. Excuse me. Uh, right, why have you timed out? Right, I'm removing you from moderator because you put Dave Jones on a timeout and Dave Jones is my very good friend. So, Jay Fansom, you are not on my moderators anymore. Bob Surrey, yes, I've got a whole Dyson collection. Oh, excellent. Um, probably, no, the reason why I'm asking is because if you know more than I do, then, um, please, um, you can teach me. <laughs> That the fullest wash load you've done beside dog wash, not much tumble room. No, there isn't, no. Um, I was asked about the weight of it and I'd never really tested it before to see if I could fit the weight in there. So we've got about 11 kilos of clothing in there. Um, so this really is an overload for me. Uh, James McNair, I love Dyson's. Rowan Wells, I've got a mixed load in my old Hoover tumble dryer that we got new about five years ago. Unused, but my nan has the same one and it's about 30 odd years old. Then I've got the tea towels and clothes to do, to wash now. Raheem, how much left? Edward Byrne, two mins as moderator, Jay, now you're sacked. Yes, nobody, nobody puts, um, nobody puts Dave in the corner. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, I'm off for now, but hope to be back and please read my last comment. Okay, Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. The Electrolux cost me a little over $131, 102 pounds, plus some hard to find bags, but luckily I bought uh, a lot to last for a while. Oh, Garrett, send me some pictures of it, please. I would really, really like to see that. So, yes, send me some pictures. Excuse me, when do I get mod? Uh, I'm kidding. Okay, let's, um, let's add Max as the moderator. <laughs> Don't put Dave in the corner. Uh, Garrett Hamsmith, will it, will when it arrives. Okay, yeah, cool. When it arrives, please do send me some pictures of it. Woohoo, I'm mod now. Yes, you are. Jay Phantom, sorry about that, mate. Right, okay. You're getting a second chance. That was a verbal warning. You're going back on. Don't put anybody in the corner. Uh, Bob, sorry, have you done a full Dyson strip down before of the non-ball models? Uh, uh, no, on my own, no. Um, if you go back and check, I did do a DCO one with Lewis. Oh my God. Um, just watch the video. That's all I can say. Um, I wonder how well it will spin today. To be honest, I think because it's got a nice load and it's all small items, it should behave itself. Whether the quality of the washing is any good, because there's hardly any tumble room in there at all. So I don't know how good it's going to do. I think it will be a very unbalanced spin. Um, there isn't anything in there really that's kind of sort of like massive, um, kind of like a massive load, if you know what I mean. Uh, what do you think of the Bosch washing machines? To be honest, John, um, I'm going to call you John. Uh, to be honest, John, I've I've never had one, so I'm not really sure. Uh, Vlaska Vida, hello, Vidya, how are you? Hello, I wonder if there is a suds lock on the spins. Thank you, you did not fit the shirts in there. In fact, this uh, tiny full to me. Yeah, it is. It is over full. I totally agree with you.
John, hi Hoverlux. Do you know anyone who wants to buy an Electrolux 345 complete original box it came in? Mm -hmm. uh, if I had the money, I would. I would buy it off you, John. Um, Trains of Britain, most Bosch washers are really good. I would say stay away from the classics. All others are fine. Jay, how often do you wash the, your duvet? Um, <clears throat> I wash the actual duvet, as in the, um, as in, you know, the duvet, maybe like once every two or three months, maybe. Um, the covers I wash every week. Strip the bed every week. The Schneidy Boy YT. Hi, hey, Schneidy Boy. Jonathan Smith. They're good washers. Mine's about 10 years old, still staying strong. Yeah, this, um, I've, I've heard really good reports about them. Uh, Rowan Wells, could you do a duvet wash one day, please? Yes, I will do that. What's the weather like down there? At the moment, it's, I can see through the uh, door that it's, the sun is the sun is shining. The sun is setting at the front because uh, we've got a east-facing garden. So we get the sun in the morning, and then it comes over and then sets at the front at night. Uh, when you next wash it, um, I do have a king-size duvet that I need to wash. Not urgently, but I do need to wash it. So I may just I may do one as um as a, a live wash and vlog. Uh is it model sports change my name? Ah right, okay. Time for tea at yeah, Dorian. Uh no, Happy Lux will be down in thirty five minutes. It's been a nice day down south too, sunny and quite warm, but not unpleasant. Yeah, I mean, yesterday um, I was talking to somebody down in Kent and the weather was lovely there all day, but yesterday was horrendous for us. It was horrible. That's all it did was rain. Garrett, I'm back, false alarm. Louise, I'll have to be going for now, take care. Oh, thanks Louise. Mwah. Speak to you soon. Bob Surrey, Max. The old classics models, which are over 10 years old, like mine, are built tanks. In the old days, the classics models were made in Germany, while the Maxi models were made in Spain. Ah, oh, okay. It's quite hot in Pennsylvania. I can imagine. If you're washing puffy duvets in the machine, put it on final spin first, cause it takes um, air out of it and will tumble better. Oh, okay. Would you ever get an Indeset Moon? Never in a month of Sundays. Max, it rained loads yesterday down here too. I was in the Stag Theatre in Seven Oaks, and you could hear it on the roof. Oh. Not here in Ocean City. Um, James, do you use Daz powder? Yes, I do. Yes, I've got Daz colours and whites. And it's fantastic. I love it. It smells amazing. Rowan Wells, it was nice down in South Wales yesterday. And my, my white and light washing dried quickly yesterday. Oh, it was because he left the washing on the hillside. I'm here sorting washing out. Yes, I did use it on my curtains, Jay, for the Jay videos on the curtains. I've got more of them coming up. Rowan Wells, it's been horrendous here today, torrential rain showers. Well, we were supposed to have them this afternoon. The weather this morning said that it was going to be raining uh, from like 3 or 4 p.m., but... It didn't arrive, thankfully. Uh, 
If you look up 1451 Electrolux on YouTube, performance reviews has done a few videos on. Oh, okay. I should go down and check my tumble dry in. <gasps> Rowan, you left it unattended? <laughs> Edward Byrne, weather shit in Ireland, still using dryer in June. Join the club. I haven't had many loads out on the washing line. Do you ever abuse LG? Mm, not intentionally, no. It's my only main machine. Uh, how many Miele vacuums do you have? Oh God, um, I've got three uprights. One of them with a headlight, which I love. Um, cylinders, one, two, three, four. About five or six, I think, of cylinders. So about eight or nine in total. Um, have Alexa set a reminder so it, so you don't forget. Jonathan won. Bob, this time last year we were having a massive heat wave. I know. Edward Byrne, you're abusing it now with that load. <laughs> yep. Well, I really, w I wouldn't say I'm, I'm abusing it. I'm kind of like maxing it out. There's people downstairs. My mum's down there fussing my dog. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh. um, Schneider boy, where are you in PA? If only Brandon was watching. Yes. Newtown. Um, you know when I went to um, Doug Yaple's store that was in um, where was that? That was in Pennsylvania. We went to the um, Cornish, Cornish is it? Cornish Glass Museum. We went there to um, we went to the Glass Museum, and and then we did glass blowing. Because they do glass blowing in there as well. You can have a go at that. You don't actually blow the glass. You just kind of um, sit there, really. I don't know. So do you live in near the Cornish Museum of Glass? Uh, Edward Byrne, where's my pal Bland Boxers? I know, he's not even on the, he's not even on the vlog. Uh, the SIBO X1 is really good for dog hairs with the turbo brush. Um, yes, I mean, if you check back, I think I've done it. Oh, I think it's coming up. I do a demonstration on my X7 with the Big Fur Mess test. Um, and I don't pre-pick up any big chunks. I leave the whole lot down. And I just ploughed through it. No problem. Oh, gorgeous bearded Hugh. I haven't... I. I haven't spoke to him this week. Is glass a code name for something else? <laughs> no, you really was glass blowing. Rowan Wells, I know it's still going because I can feel the vibration coming up through the utility area. It's not very good and energy is uh, efficient as it's too old, but I've been used for five years. Aww. But it dries fairly well. As long as it works, uh, love clocks. Dave Jones, we have... Oh, Dave! I punished Jay. He will not put you in time out again. Dave, we had some sun in the Dudley this morning, then rain. Jay Phantom, watch Andrew Sterney on YouTube. He is weird. Who's, uh, who is he? What does he do? not much movement going on in this washing machine is there really as in sort of like um there's not much room to move it's not going to be a very good wash this one uh jay love clocks you mean clocks no 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 he actually loves locks Uh, 
Dave Jones. 21st June, longest day. Oh my god, I know. Tell me about it. Uh, the Schneidy Boy YouTube. Sub to Schneidy Boy on YouTube. I'm going to your channel right now. Oh, you haven't got any subscribers. There we go. I'm going to be your first subscriber. Hey, hey. Although I don't do gaming, so never mind. Where are we? Jay, oh yeah, no, he, um, he collects clocks. Craig has a, select, a collection of um, amazing, amazing, amazing clocks. Three or four tumble dry loads in one wash. Probably there, there is, yeah. I'll have to split them up between two. Uh, Vlasak Vidya, I have my Bosch washing machine for nine years and I did not have any serious problem yet except of carbon brushes that I had to change one time. Uh, that's, that's pretty good going, to be honest. Nine years for, for a washing machine. Mark Leslie, I'm sure it will be fine, Dorian. It's a four-hour cycle after all. You're probably, you are right, to be honest. It's not really hugely, massively stained loads. And as, as you can see there, the recirculator comes around. So, the, you know, the water does get churned around. The only thing that takes a while is duvet covers as they ball up sometimes and bath mats, they take forever. But I've dried a duvet in there. Uh, Craig, locks. No, clocks. Uh, Jay, I have lots of locks. <laughs> Max, our AEG washer is three years old and already having issues. Quality. AEG is not what it used to be, I believe. Garrett, guess what comedy I started watching? Mrs. Brown Boys. Oh, do you like it? Uh, my boy has 170 vacuums. Wow. I uh, love brown boys. Yeah, um, brown boys. Mrs. Brown's boys. They're very funny. Spin duvet twice before tumble drying won't take so long. Then. Well, to be honest, I don't put the duvets directly into the tumble dryer wet. I hang them up. Uh, until the next day and then I put them in the tumble dryer then for about 30 40 minutes just to air them out but I don't put them directly wet in the washing machine in the in the tumble dryer um, it's the same with um, bedding duvets and stuff you know the duvet covers I hang them up anywhere um, until the next day and then tumble dry them What model's the LG? Um, it's the 12 kilogram um, inverter direct drive motor with the Centum system. So it has the fixed um, outer drum, it's fixed to the machine, whereas the rest of it sits on the Centum system. Max, I have eight vacuums, I think, but considering I don't make any money and full-time education, I'm proud of myself. You are. That is very good, Max. That's a great idea for duvets. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I found that I just like, have to, had to keep um, taking them out and shuffling them, and shuffling them around and putting them back in because they weren't dry in places or... Oh. Um, the Schneidy, but my friend has a front load with a little door that you, um, add closing quickly. Gimmick. It's a complete and utter gimmick. John Smith, what do you think about the Henry Cordless? Um, don't leave him alone because he'll end up running away and snorting cocaine and shagging Hetty. Ad wash. Gimmick. Ah, uh, is it a Samsung? <laughs> Lol. It is an absolute gimmick. It's kind of funny because a lot of people I've spoken to who don't have them, they're like, oh, I'd love to have an ad wash. 
<clears throat> because I'd like to put in, you know, I could add in something at any time. And I'm like, you can't. You can only add stuff into the ad wash at certain times during the cycle. So if you've gone too far, you can't open it. So at least with this, you put it on pause and you can open the door and put something in. So, and it's the same with the ad wash. You can only add stuff into it for a certain duration during each wash. You can't, you can't open that door all the time. The water level on these machines don't doesn't get high during the wash anyway. It's only on, on it's only on the dark cycle during the rinses that the water level comes up. So that doesn't make sense. Uh, Max, ad wash is so dumb it's pointless. Exactly. I uh, would love to have the Speed Queen front loader washing machine. Uh, so would I, Craig. Send me over a top loader. The, uh, because they they use 240 volts, so I can use it over here. <laughs> the only thing with the duvets is that I like my duvet straight back in the bed same day. Although I do have a comforter I could use. I'm off now to sort out a wet wash load and empty the tumble. Ah, uh, okay, Rowan. Speak to you in a bit. Hope you come back. Uh, Jonathan Smith, I've got a DC01, but the handle is smashed and it's very discolored. Oh, I'm sure somebody on here said about um, spare DC01 parts. 2G's back! Uh, my friend next door has an LG washing machine now and 12 years old and still going strong. Bloody hell, James, that's a miracle. King of Zanussi, hello buddy, loving your LG. Oh, thank you, my friend, thank you. I think the thing about it is, I know that this is not the best machine out there, and I'm not trying to convert anybody to go and buy one, but this is just my main machine that I use every day, and I really do like it, and it's not amazing, and people have had issues with these machines after a couple of months, people have had issues with these machines after a couple of years, and then some people have had them for donkey's years with no issues. So it all depends. It absolutely is, just depends. Uh, retro machine. Oh yes, no, you, you mentioned this before. Uh, do you remember the Hoover Starlight in Green you sold a while ago? I found it near me and got it for free. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I can't remember who I... Oh, I know, I, I, I swapped it. What did I swap it with? Or did I sell it? I think I sold it. I can't remember what happened. Um, I s it was up in Scotland. But it's fantastic that you've got it. Wow. <laughs> Jay, told you Dorian poured the conditioner directly to the max. No, I didn't. I poured it in carefully up to the max. Uh, to replace, where are we? Uh, Rowan, bye or bye. Uh, Jay, you should get another Aqualtis. Oh, I, I, I like the big, um, the big door on this. I'm planning to get one of these uh, for my parents uh, to replace my Samsung. Hey, Miles. Edward, that's a sacking offence to Jay telling on Dorian. <laughs> He's, he's had one verbal warning, he's all right. <laughs> you should get a central vac if you save up enough money to your house and to clean out vacuums in the basement. Um, I haven't got a basement, but I w tell you what, I would like a central vacuum that I could mount on the wall in the, um, in the workshop and use that. King of Zanussi, hello Toji buddy. J ha ha to Max go into dinner be right back okay enjoy dinner Max see you in a bit workbench uh, yeah I'd like to have um, a central vac as uh, as my kind of like um, as my kind of like workshop vacuum do you know what I mean I wouldn't plumb it into the walls or anything I can't <clears throat> but um, I definitely would like to have one kind of like mounted on the wall What could you add? A bay leaf. 
the bay leaf and a bit of spice, all the spice. How dare you? <laughs> I was only telling the truth. Ew! There is no truth with Toji. We respect it. <laughs> How old's the LG? Um, I've had this since January. So it was sold. It was sold last year, but it was a. Uh, it was brand new, in the in the packaging and in, in everything. Um, but. Well, not in the packaging, but it was brand new um, out of the packaging. But it had, it's had it got um, cosmetic damage on it. It's got some scratches on it, uh, marks, scratches on the side, some scratches on the top. The other side of the door over there, if you can see, oh, the light is shining on it. There's a little mark. Um, so it was refused. Uh, so I bought it for £400 off. But I had to drive all the way up to near to Newcastle to pick it up. So, it was a tank of fuel, which was 50 quid. So I got 350 quid off. Um, yeah, it's good. it does have a good washing action. Um, I watched the start of your live stream when uh, it was doing the detection. I was surprised it said four and a half hours, but you would be surprised at how long my longest wash is in my Samsung, yes. Um, I mean, for example, I, I used a cotton wash on this, so I could have used different cycles, which really would have brought the time down. But I wanted to use a cotton for you guys. Uh, the Schneider boy, guess how old I am? I don't know, in your 20s? Toji, do you think the LG is overload? Yes, the, the LG is overloaded. Bob, Dorian, do you know anyone who would have the cable hook for a Dyson DC07 click? As mine has snapped and I can't find the one on eBay anywhere in that colour. No, you can't. Um, I couldn't find one either. Um, the the cord hook on mine was snapped. It wasn't it wasn't snapped off, but it was snapped, so it was just held on by one side. And um, you can't, we, we couldn't get one for it. So <clears throat> it was um, AG123 who refurbed my my one. Um, so he um, bonded it. So you can, you can barely see it because it was snapped on the other side, thankfully. But yeah, it's bonded. I couldn't get one. 12, oh God, okay. Uh, Toji, no, it doesn't actually, Edward. Uh, oh, do you uh, would anyone be so generous to get oh, that's okay you don't have to honestly I do appreciate it but you don't have to honestly <laughs> uh, you should look out for a Dyson washing machine oh god no thanks no not interested in Dyson washing machines uh, Mark when you do wash the duvet if you use the duvet cycle, the max temperature is only 40, yes. Normally the default is 20. On Steve's, that was all it could do. This one might be different. I think it is, actually. Oh, actually, it's just done. See, it's just done another sort of, like, thingy-majig on it. I don't think I'll have any problems with the clothes being dirty. It's just that the machine is too full for my liking. Dave, it's a Hoover dungeon. <laughs> it's 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 um it's it's the gimp room, isn't it, um, Dave? It depends on how much you take care about it. Uh, if you will overload the machine, you will not uh, do any boil washes, then it'll break quickly. It's absolutely true. Um, my dad made one. Ah, the hook. Uh, that's a shame, but thanks for the info. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. No sensible moderator would encourage people to do that. Your job is to keep the peace in the chat. No, I got I, the moderators. I don't understand that. Oops.
<laughs> oh, don't worry, Mark. It's all right. Um, King of Zanussi. I also got another washer with my Samsung called the Zanussi Aquacycle 3 kilogram. Uh, you can have a look at my channel if the spare time if you want. Okay, King of Zanussi. Hang on. Let me go to your channel. Oh, I'm not subscribed. Sorry. There we go. I'm done. I'm subscribed. King of Zanussi. Ah, King of Zanussi. Hello. Let's have a look. Hang on. Let me go back. I'm, uh, I need to read back read your message. I also got another washing machine called the Zanussi Aquacycle. Zanussi Aquacycle. I'm, I'm looking at your channel now, I can't... Oh, here we go, uh, Zanussi Aquacycle. Okay. Yeah, okay, cool, that's brilliant. I'll check that out. Go and take a look at, um, at King of Zanussi uh, 1301 channel. Uh, Jay, will you ever peel the Turbo Wash A plus? Um, no, I, I won't because normally I do. I remove all the stickers because I hate the stickers on it. But because I film this and I do the live washes, I like to leave it on there just for you guys to see. But normally, if I wasn't doing YouTube or anything, or it wasn't going to be filmed, then yeah, I'd peel it off. Oh, hang on. We're still on the first wash. Uh, yes, we're at 40.6. There we go. Oh, you're very welcome, Schneidy boy. Uh, but what if you will clean in the filters and do a boil wash every two weeks it will live for longer um, um every two weeks uh, I only really do a boil wash on it once every month and the only thing I do boil washes on now are the rags in the garage with the ones I use for cleaning and stuff for the vacuums they go on a boil wash. Um, the max that I put white towels on now is 60 because of recommendation and reading about it. Uh, 60 degrees is all you need for whites really to get the really good white. And the only reason I use 90 is because they're sort of like the cloths for the garage and they really need a good clean. And also then I kind of like treat it as a, a wash for this, but I wouldn't really recommend using boil washes all the time on these machines, unless you have to, of course. Then you've got no option, but... Hmm. Dyson Lux. I changed my name after you. Oh. So what were you before then? I must be subscribed. Yeah, I am subscribed. Oh, I'm the only one. You've changed it to Dyson Lux. Oh, thank you. <laughs> King of Zanussi did a thank you for the sub buddy much appreciated I'm going to go and sort out a wash load for my live stream Monday morning excellent if I'm around I will watch it King of Zanussi uh, Jay just use auto clean at 70 that's true yeah I, I use the auto clean when I use the Dettol cleaner uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the heater will die faster if you use boil wash constantly. Well, I don't know about the heater, but I know that um, constant boil washes aren't good for the um, electrics in these machines. You are my idol. Oh, thank you. King is an Oosie. Just to give you a heads up, it will start at around half four or five o'clock. Uh, you'll get a notification. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, it's doing another one of those spinning things to circulate the water and the load. Mm. 
Yeah, so even though I've overloaded this washing machine, I don't think I'm going to get a bad... I'm not going to get a bad wash from it. I, I, I don't think it's going to... I'm worrying over nothing because, like it said, there's still three hours and seven minutes to go. It keeps doing the recycling of the water all the time. It does the fast kind of like spin things to make sure that the detergent gets in all the different parts. So, to be honest, even though I don't normally run the washing machine this full, um, I'm not going to get dirty clothes. I'm not going to get dry patches. Toji, uh, yes, yeah, it actually reached temperature for once. I think it did, yeah, but I think it takes three hour washes to get to temperature. But saying that, we did do a wash recently and um, it got to temperature really fast, so I don't know what was going on. Uh, Jay, when is Happy Lux back? Alexa, drop in Scott's study. Happy legs. Oh, Alexa, stop. I think he's having a shower. I think he's in the shower. Uh, could you please do a, cane, a stain care soon? Yes, I will. Uh, Dyson Lux. Uh, post notifications on Hoover Lux. Um, I think so. Hang on. Yes. Yes. A uh, cotton large program. Um, I think we should do a cotton large program, but I, I'm not going to do a live stream on it because it'll take forever. It'll be like about five hours. So I will do a video on it filmed in 720 because otherwise it's going to take the entire uh, 256 gigabytes of my phone memory. Uh, Dyson Lux, uh, new video coming out soon. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Alexa, add Durex to the wash shopping list. I couldn't find a list called wash shopping. Should I create one? <laughs> Alexa, add Now, D O R I A N, when you shouting at me. <laughs> no, don't do cotton large, it'll take ages. No, not on a live stream, but I'll do a video of one. It did it to mine also. Not funny. <laughs> Alexa, play Swansea Bay Radio. Swansea Bay Radio, what is your name? Alexa, stop. I don't want a copyright strike. That's my favourite radio station. So there we go, you can listen to my favourite radio station. Yep, still at 40. <laughs> it's plain old town road on mine. Thank you for reminding me to disable the microphone. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to do a live stream, uh, you really need to disable your Alexa. Especially when I'm around, because I'm a little minx. Throwing Alexa out. <laughs> I go, when we go around to people's houses and they got Alexa, 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 sorry. Um, Stop. No problem. Um, I'm going to have to call her Dexter. It's so, okay. So we'll call her Dexter. Um, when I go around to people's houses and they have Dexter, um, I add things to their shopping list and um, reminders and alarms and stuff. I'm terrible. It's going to be at 40 for a long time. Yes, it is. 
Did you say five hours for a load of laundry? Why? Uh, three hours. Um, Craig, that is the thing with um, using love, 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 Purcell. Um, I can't use Purcell because, well, we don't use Purcell because we never used it as a kid. My dad was allergic to it, made him itchy. Um, so we always used Ariel. And there was another one that she used to use, but it was mainly Ariel. I remember her buying Ariel. My mum. Unless we can afford it, and then it was sort of like, then we'd have to have an own br our home brand. But generally, it was Ariel. What's your favourite washer? Doing a lovely good spin, getting all the clothes mixed up. Is Toji still watching? I want to do something crazy um have you tried to stump dexter where she turns herself off no how do you do that <gasps> mark no i haven't tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do it after this video do you want to see the pumping do you want to do you want to see a vm um, do you want to see me do the pump on this to see if it's manky or not I'll do it after the wash. Okay, Mark. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. And Garrett, how do you... Stump Alexa. I mean, Stump Dexter. Can you do a live stream of vacuums? Uh, vacuum in or just the collection? Toji, Dorian, do you remember when I told you about the girl in my dreams? Uh, yes, I do remember, Toji. Um, I mean, I'm just checking out the link that Jay's put on there. Oh, Theresa May resigns. Oh, it's a joke. Uh, I've lost my thing now. Hang on a second. I have to go back into it. Ah! I saw her yesterday. <laughs> Jay's got a really funny sense of humor. Uh, well, okay, well, uh, do you, Dorian, do you remember when I told you about the girl in my dreams? Yes, I did. Tell me. Well, I have seen it on other channels, but I have not done it because we don't have one. Oh. It's not called milk and more for nothing. <laughs> I'm, I must be losing the plot. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean now. Oh, God. How long's left on the wash? Two hours and 58 minutes. Jay's put another one on this. Have a look at this one. Oh, that's your channel. Yes. Go and check out Jay. Toji, Mark Leslie, why do you feel the need to kick off all the time? Oh, he's only thinking of me, Toji. Don't worry, Mark's a friend. Holy crap. All right, okay, yes. So um, back to 
Craig's question about um, why is it going to take four hours? <clears throat> now, front loading washing machines generally do take a lot longer unless you program them not to. But if you leave them on the standard programs, um, they can be up to four or five hours long. Uh, why? There's no need for it. They could do it in a shorter time. They don't need four hours. It's a bit of an extreme. It's a bit of an extreme program, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't normally do programs that take this long. I will shorten them. Uh, Hot Point Two Thousand and Five. Good evening, Dorian. Good evening, Hot Point Two Thousand and Five. How are you, my friend? Max is back. Did you enjoy your dinner? What did you have? Doesn't that use more energy on 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 this kind of wash? Yeah, definitely. There's no need for it to take three hours, but because it's taken into account, I've chosen a normal wash. I've chosen it. It's a a very very full load, um, and I used a cotton cycle. <clears throat> I could have used different cycles that would have shortened the time. It depends on the load size as well. Yeah. Hello, Elephant Gamer 26. Hello, it's me again. Hey there. So, um, the front loading, Craig, the front loading washing machines do generally take longer anyway. But we're kind of just like used to it in the UK. We just kind of like used to the loads taking longer. When I watch washing machine videos in the US or so top loaders, and they sort of like take like 30 minutes, I'm like, what? That's not going to get clean. That's not going to get the stains out of my knickers. Please answer your phone. I can't answer my phone because I'm on live stream. Uh, told you, train to Britain. Go back and read my last few comments, please. Uh, Elephant Gamer, sorry I haven't been commenting on your videos in a while. I have watched them, but just not commenting. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. It's not a problem. I'm just happy that you watch them. They have to take so long to achieve their good energy rating. They run at a much lower wattage. Ah, oh, okay. Um, how long's left? Two hours, 54 minutes. Oh no, Toji. <laughs> Did uh, Toji, you never told me about um, the girl of your dreams. Oh my god, he's, I saw her yesterday. Where? Uh, glass temperature, it's, it's 40 degrees. It reached it ages ago. 40.1. Ah, right, okay. Hang on a second. Bear with me a moment. Bear with me a moment, guys. There we go. Uh, don't worry, Mark, it's sorted. I see the boy of my dreams yesterday. <laughs> I see the boy of my dreams every day. I stare through my device at Zac Efron and Tom Holland and realize, hello, how alone I am. <laughs> Morgan, there should be a video on Dawn's channel. Ah, right, okay, I will go and check it out, Morgan. Very nice program. Ah, oh, Gethin David. 
Is that Welsh or is that another language? I can't tell. It looks Welsh to me. Double L. Anything with a double L looks Welsh. Tell me, is that Welsh? Samsung Boy 2008. Hello, Hoover Lux. Love your channel. Oh, thank you very much, Samsung Boy 2008. Glad you enjoy. Toji, I wish I was with her. Oh, oh Toji, it'll happen. I believe in you. Me too. Morgan Nethern, how's Dexter? Can I see him? Um, yeah, do you want me to go and get Dexter? Okay, stay there a second then. I'm going to go get Dexter. Oh God, that is very, very old. Dexter! There we go. There's Dexter. All right, man, what have I missed? Oh, I just went to get Dexter. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I, I like the Bosch. Uh, you can have a virtual hug from me over the internet. Guess who's back back again? Who? I miss my Samsung. Morgan Leatherland. Hello, Dexter. That was a quick hello and goodbye. Uh, he looks like the cat at Catford Advert. Yes, he does. Ah, oh, Dexter is so cute. Toji, thank you so much, Max. That means so much to me. Dungeon Danger. How old is he? Um, Dexter is five years old. And goodbye, yes. Uh, told you, do you have Insta or Facebook? We should chat, yes. Um, you and Max should definitely chat. Uh, how old is he? He's five. Do you own any Kirby vacuums? Oh my god. Yes, I do. I have a Kirby shrine in my garage. My cat, uh, Morgan, my cat is 
He's called Lulu. Oh, champagne for Lulu. Uh, Garrett, could you please l read my last message? Hang on. I'm still trying to contact the guy I had a crush on during the last two years of school to tell him that I love him. <gasps> oh! Oh, I hope you get him. Uh... It doesn't matter if he likes it. Lulu it is. What program is it on? Callum. Um, we are on a cotton wash. 40 degrees. Can he shake a paw? Um, no. But he will let you do anything to him. As in pick him up, cuddle him, kiss him, snuggle him. As long as he gets a treat at the end of it, you can do anything. have you had LG uh, this one is since um, January uh, 18 years old oh wow that's uh, that's a good age for a cat uh, yours can shake a paw since uh, Sawyer so I'm cotton 40 normal three rinses Toji I wish I could do that with my crush Garrett <laughs> Oh, with, with that, my crush, Garrett, not your Garrett is your crush. I thought Hubby Lux was your crush anyway. Uh, Jonathan, do you watch Ibasiac? Uh, not anymore. Toji, thanks for the ad, Max. Much appreciated, buddy. There's Dexter. He is about to go out through the cat flap. Go on, have a kitty shit. Uh, 1400 spin. Just found your Toji, sent a message. Garrett, uh, Toji, I still trying to get hold of him. Garrett, are you on, um, you know, you're not on Instagram, are you? It should be a 1600 spin. Um... To be honest, even with the 1400 spin and 1600, the degree of difference in on in how dry the clothes get really doesn't sort of like make much of a difference, in my opinion, compared to the old machine. I can't say that I'm pulling stuff out of there on a 1400 spin and saying, oh my God, these are so much wetter than my 1600 hot point. I don't, um, I don't really notice the difference. Um, it was the uh, hot point of Qualtus, eleven kilogram one. Oh, he's not on Instagram. That's right. Yes, it is a full load. Definitely, it is a bit too full to be honest. I am on Facebook. I sent you a picture of my Samsung Echo Bubble. Uh, me, I'm not on Facebook. The things I've done for treats. <laughs> the memories of flood. Uh, the things you do for a stick, Craig. For a chew on a bony. Eh? Yeah, um, who I will send you an email of what Sawyer looks like. Yes, do. Gavin, do you own a Kirby of any kind? Oh my God, yes, yeah, sorry, yes. Um, or, or more Hoovers. Gavin. Are you new to my channel, my friend? Uh, let's have a look. I think Gavin is a newie. Uh, Gavin Neubauer, 19 subscribers. Hi, this is a funny, fun channel. Subscribe. There we go. We're going to subscribe to Gavin. Gavin. Oh, Gavin's in the States. I, can, I think he is anyway, by the picture. 
Uh, right, okay, let's go back to this. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. Uh, yes, Gavin, I do. I have loads of Kirby's. I literally have every Kirby that was in the UK bar one. Um, and I don't have the Avalier 2, but I've I've almost got every other Kirby from since the 1970s uh, that came into the UK. There was there was another one that did come into the UK previous to the one I have, but it was only in certain areas and only certain number was sold, and then they moved on to the one that I have, which I can't remember what it is. Um, but yes, and I have all my Kirby's on a huge display in the garage, flood lit with LEDs, and all shiny shiny. Uh, Samsung Boy 2008 um, subscribe to me yes go and check out his channel uh, if anyone's asking for subscribing don't delete the messages um, I want to use this platform for everybody to promote their channels as well and to try and get interest as well so Samsung Boy 2008 go and check out his channel Tell Gavin, let's do Vax together. Morgan, I really love your channel. Oh, thank you, Morgan. That's, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Toji. Jay, what happened to make you mention... Oh. Uh, Jonathan, can you show us some Vax, please? Um, I can't at the moment, Jonathan, because I'm, I'm doing the washing vlog, but there's, there's so much going on there, and I will do at some point. I'll do kind of like um, a, live, a live vlog. Um, and go around and show you the machines. That's a good idea. Who's hidden Samsung Boy 2008? Morgan Leatherland, subscribe to my channel. Yes, go and check it out. Uh, Gavin, yes, I am. Sorry, I must go to sleep because of the boarding house rules. Thanks for a nice stream. You're very, very welcome. Anytime. Thank you very much for watching. Can't wait for you to come down. Don't know what to cook. Crumbs. Um, I'm still waiting for what's going to happen with the um, laundry centre. I still haven't had a reply yet. Well, I'm still waiting for confirmation. Uh, Jonathan Smith, cheers. Gavin, not me. Jay, you should get an Android. <sighs> yeah, but they're not very good at washing and cleaning at the moment. So I'll wait until the Androids get a bit more, a bit better. Garrett, email should have sent. Cool, I'll check it out after the live stream. We still got two hours and 39 minutes to fill, guys. Which reminds me, I'm, I'm going to need to use the bathroom in a minute. Just to use the download cycle. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess there are a couple of cyc the cycles that I wouldn't mind having. Uh, Jonathan Smith, got to go. Bye. Thanks for the good evening. Keep up the good back videos. Mwah. Thank you very much, Jonathan Smith. Thank you very much for watching. Garrett Hammersmith, and it's only 3.50pm 3, 3 here in Ohio. It's very early. It's a Sunday afternoon in Ohio. It's a Sunday afternoon in practically everywhere in the States. Gavin is leaving. Bye, Gavin. Thank you very much for passing by and saying hello. Dyson Lux, see you next time. Jay, I think there is a kitten-specific cycle. Ah. Bye, y'all, says Johnston. 
Morgan, can you do a demo of DCO one big hair mess test? Oh, thank you, Mark. Uh, Mark has just done a super chat, so please go and check out his channel. He's just done a super chat. Thank you very much. Mwah! Um, can you do a demo of a DC and big hair mess test? Um, no, basically, because it won't work. Um, it'll just get clogged up. They are, none of the Dysons are very good with big hair mess, anything. Um, I know people do do the big fur mess or big mess test with the Dysons, but I don't even bother. I let, I let the other channels do it because I don't want to wreck them, basically. You should do a detergent overload. Ah, oh, like that, um, like that guy's channel. <laughs> um, is it Greek? Is it Greek guy? Does all the wacky things with the washing machine. I have to remind everybody that this is my main washing machine. If this breaks, I'm stuffed. Um, how long's left? Two hours and 36. Yeah, that's it, Demo. I love his channel. Perhaps I should get myself a, a cheapy washing machine from, um, from like, um, the British Heart Foundation or something and then do those style of videos. Yes, I've seen that. Yeah, he's got a different machine now. Oh, Happy Lux is back. Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Morgan, yes, that would be fun to watch. <laughs> um, it's 27 degrees here in Ohio. That's not a bad temperature, is it? That's nice, 27 in Ohio. It's good. It's 27 degrees in Ohio. Uh, it would be funny to see what a whole box of powder does in the LG. Possibly, but not in my utility room. <laughs> the humidity is what... Oh, see, the humidity, that kills me. I could be in temperatures that were like 40 degrees. But if it's humid, forget about it. I, I don't like humidity even at low temperatures of like 25, 26 when it's humid. It can't, oh, it drives me mental. Jay Phantom, say hello to Hubby Lux for me. Jay says hello. Hi. 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 Hobby Lux says hi from Australia. Hi. Are you a horn bag? Nope. <laughs> Are you a fish wife? Nope. Are you effluent? Yep. <laughs> Jay says, how are you? Garrett, and we have rain coming this afternoon. Uh, Toji, can you read my last comment? Toji, okay. Hubby Lux, has Dorian been... Okay, Hubby Lux has a question. I mean, oh, sorry. Toji's got a question for you. Yeah. Um, Hubby... Has Dorian been naughty yet? All the time. Ew! I'm good all the time. Yep. Jay Phantom, fishwife. <laughs> what are those television programs with the the something wives of Dallas and the what you call wives of Texas or whatever? What's what's the beginning of it called? Toji, naughty, naughty Dorian. Garrett, not in bed, I bet. No, it's uh, it's five to nine here. He has got his pajamas on. Ah, ah, ow! <laughs> Hot. Ah, no, cold. 
Oof. See what I gotta put up with, Toji? Revenge. Has that washing machine had? Oh no, it's because it's doing a thing. Hubby, how much does Dorian be naughty on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being very good and 10 being very naughty. He's gone back upstairs, so 1. 1! That's what he says. Ah, uh, Jay, we should burst your videos. You should burst your videos all in one go. Damn it. What do you mean, all the ones that I have um, scheduled? Oh, sorry, Toji. He'll be down in an hour with another cup of tea. I'm getting hot again. Where's my fanny? We got the gay fan out again. Uh, you need to get more videos with of Hubby Lux with you. No, you won't like. You absolutely doesn't like being um, on the camera. He's been on a couple of. He's been in a couple of videos and he's on posts and stuff. But uh, he's not one for being on the channel at all. How long's left? Two hours thirty one minutes. Max, hot gay queen needs to be frozen like Elsa. Let it go, let it go. Did it, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> Cold never bothered me anyway. Priorities. Any longer on my phone will need to be charged. Where is your power brick? You need to your power brick. Um, does the LG maintain the temperature? Yeah, it does. Let's check it again up to the glass. Well, kind of, 37.7, 39.7, so it's dropped down a little bit, but it should, um, I think it's sort of like, I don't know, Toji, if I, I will, what is the threshold before it comes back on, maybe a degree or so? The Real Housewives, that is it, The Real Housewives. Um, I'm the Real Housewives of Grantham. I'm part of The Real Housewives of Grantham. Garrett, you know I have only told about four people that I was gay and they were school friends. No anymore, girl. Not on this channel. <laughs> We've already got 16 watching now. <laughs> it's not four. <laughs> Narnia is closed and the closet doors are locked. Hard parts telling the family. Yes. Um, yes, I mean, oh God. I did tell, I told my family I was 19. So I finished college and I went to, I finished college, I got a job in London in what I was studied in hotels and I moved to London and I kind of like, I just knew I had to get away from the small city where I lived and I wanted to go to London. But I knew that I couldn't just sort of like turn up in London and look for a job. I had to have a job with, with a place to live before I moved there. So which is why I work for a hotel because they 
um, provide accommodation. So anyways, that's what I did. I moved to London and I was there for um, about six months before I told my family. So I was... I'm trying to think. I was there I got I, I, I arrived and started work it was literally a week before my 19th birthday so I'd been there for a week before I um, before I turned 19 so yeah I was 19 when I told my parents but I didn't tell them all or whatever um, I told my mum and my sister she was there at the time so she was like 16 so I told my mum, I told my mum, I told my mum first, just with her, and um, yeah, and then I, and then my sister was there, my dad was working, he wasn't with us that day, and then I was kind of like, I went back to London, and my mum spoke to my dad, and then my dad, my mum got in contact with me, and said that you need to come back to Swansea, uh, on your next days off to speak to see dad and I came down by train and I sort of like I was I, I didn't know what I didn't know what to expect really I was I mean oh, how can I explain I mean my parents had had openly gay friends during my life so I knew what his reaction would be I kind of like knew what his opinion on it would be I'd heard my I'd heard my mum talking to friends of theirs in our house i overheard a conversation uh, this was years ago when i was when i was a little kid and i heard um, them say that oh you know you know it wouldn't bother me if they were you know if one of my children was gay or whatever as long as they were safe it wouldn't bother me so i kind of like had that confidence that i I'd, I'd known that my parents had had gay friends um lesbian homosexual you know just gay friends um so i knew that they were really wouldn't be a huge issue but then again it's it's still finding out that your child or finding out that you know telling your parents it's really hard but i was just really 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 lucky because i kind of even though i didn't know what their total reaction would be um but yeah. Fifteen watching now. Uh what did you just say about Narnia? <laughs> I said Narnia's closed or the wardrobe door is locked and you're you're out now. You're out of the you're out of Narnia. Rainbow Slime, hola, hola amiga, como esta, o amigo, como esta ido mi amigo. Toji, I love London City, especially at night time when the lights are all lit up. Oh yes, especially walking down the embankment um, and walking around Big Ben and all around there when everything's all lit up and seeing all, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean, uh, Max, because I did it loads of times. Um, I blocked him, don't worry, he is such a weirdo. He just randomly messaged me asking for photos and I just went, no, no and blocked him. Told you, George. Good idea, Maxi boy. Hang on a second, why has there been, um, um, why has there been a message deleted by Dave? Dave Jones, is the glory hole in the back of the closet? <laughs> you wish. Garrett Hammersmith, I'm 18, turning 19 on July the 7th. And I have been inspired by the movie Love, Simon to tell everyone that I am gay. Toji, what about going on the London Eye at night and seeing a very beautiful view of the whole city? Just full of lights. I've never actually been on the um, 
I've never been on the um, London Eye. <laughs> Do it, Gareth. It's so much easier once you're out. It's hard at first, but if you feel rejected, but after a while, you realise how many opportunities are ahead. It's like a dream. I really want to do that when I move there in the future. Yeah, you go for it, Toji. You move to London. LG on spin wash. It's doing very good. Lots of um, recycling going on. Toji, do you live in London, Dorian? Um, no, I don't know. I live in I live one hour north of London by the train, direct. Um, but I used to live in London when I was younger, when I left college. And I worked in London for three years. Uh, going back to Garrett, um, again, it's kind of like, it's individual. I mean, yeah, it is really important to tell them. But again, I mean, I don't know your family situation. Are they extremely religious? Are they, have they mentioned anything in the past about stuff? Is your mum more open to it than your dad or a brother or a sister or something or an auntie or an uncle or... Do you have any gunkles or I lived in London from birth until the age eleven, now I live an hour south. Um Craig, is it legal in the UK for gay marriage? Yes, absolutely. That's what um Hubby Lux and I did two years ago was converted our civil ceremony or civil marriage to a full old marriage. Told you I might visit uh, you in the future when I move, when I do move to London, if it's all right with you. Um, yeah, you're fine, but I don't live in London, so <laughs> I live in Lincolnshire. <laughs> It's not legal, it's Megan. Megan Markle. I have a friend that said he had gunkles. Cool, same here. We have been together 17 years and married for six years. Aww. Craigie. Um, if you want... Uh, you can email me questions about it. Yes, I will email you questions about it. Max, oh lovely. Right, I need the loo. So you can look at Puggy. While I go for a loo, my cup of tea is still a bit too hot to drink. So, watch Puggy for a minute. Max, J. Entertain the masses. Ask them questions.
I'm back. I'm back with another pussy. What have I missed? I went fishing for brown trout. I came back with a cat. This is ping pong. She doesn't come on the show very often. She's a bit skitty. Come on. Sit there. Go and sit in there then. No. Don't be Marty. Right, okay, what have I missed? Puggy, don't take the camera. Hello. Hands up if you are single. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. J, I'm single AF. So sad, just a sad, sad situation. And I'm glad to be in the world. Um, yes, I'm reading the messages out. Craig, ask him. Jay, hi. What type of clocks do you like? Not locks, clocks. After all this washing, I don't think there will be any clothes left. Probably not. They will have dissolved. Antique ones? Nope, they will be snagged and torn apart. Um, holy underwear. Um, Jay, it's too long. Yay. Jay, Pussycat, Max, they need a pedestal for the underwear. <laughs> a pedestal? Dyson Lux, I am back. Hello, Dyson Lux, welcome back. I trimmed my beard as well today. It was getting a bit too long and scraggly. So I did a bit of bearscaping. But you'd be glad to know that I didn't film it. Garrett, I will be available all day Monday for emails because now I have that day off work. Cool. Dyson Lux, how much time is left? Two hours and 11 minutes. I think that this is going to be a YouTube record for a washing machine live stream. I wonder if this is going to be a record. The photo of you and the Almat gel is funny. I like that picture. Oh my God, yep it is. Dyson Lux, do you have any Electroluxes? Dyson Lux, yes, well then you, and you have Dysons, yes? What's Ego Rapido? Ego Rapido. What's an Ego Rapido? Three of them. Well, that's fine. You can definitely call yourself Dyson Lux. <laughs> uh, what is that? A hundred... A million pounds, please, yes. Please donate a million pounds to Hoover Lux. Your socks will need a Zimmer frame. <laughs> they do now. Uh, Dyson Lux, look on Safari. Oh, I can't at the moment because um, I'm on my phone. Ergo, ergo repido. Hang on a second. Ergo repido. Ergo rapido. Ah, right, okay, they are stick vacuums. So the Ergo rapido is a stick vacuum. 
They do different types. They do detachable ones as well. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know. Now I know what it is. Pop it back in there. Mine is orange. Oh, I like or I like orange coloured vacuums. Um, I got it when I was four. Uh, I got it when I was four when I got it. Okay. Dyson Lux. What is your email? Um, it's all lowercase. It's hooverlux at yahoo dot com. All in lowercase. Dave Jones. Hands up, uh, baby. Hands, baby. Hands up. Baby, hands up, give me your heart, give me, give me your heart, give me, give me all your love, all your love. Morgan, how long's left? Two hours and seven minutes. You better go and make dinner for tomorrow or whatever you do. Have a bath, have a cup of tea, come back. <laughs> we are going for a record of the longest washing stream on my channel yet. The glass is warm. Elephant Gamer 26. I'm back. Sorry, I had to go have a shower and dinner. Oh, you could have had another shower and another dinner and then maybe another shower and you still would have got in time for the last bit of the video. But welcome back anyway, my friend. Welcome back. Garrett, I have been listening to the song True Loves way by Mike Berry and imagine myself slow dancing with Sawyer. Aww. Morgan, can you show them in the dryer please on cotton? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, at the end of this video, if anybody is still watching by then, I'm going to empty and check the filter on it. So that's what I'm going to do at the end of this video and then end it. Um, I'm not going to be doing a drier one today because this wash is, is just too long. Uh, can you put it in the chat? Put what in the chat? Oh, do you mean the song? Oh, okay. Um... And the Ponder replay by Rihanna seems like your kind of song. Um, I quite like that song, actually, yeah. There's not that many songs of Rihanna that I do like, but I do like that one. Mm. Two hours stream. It's going to be longer than that. I just need to make sure that this thing is going to um, spin without any issues, balancing issues. I don't think we will have any issues with it, though, but... Um, guys to be honest i think we're going to be fine i hope toji's here late to the party never mind max <laughs> better late than never
Lots of lovely suds in this load. Let's get you guys a little bit closer. Washing machines don't live longer with Calgon. Uh, can you get all the different angles in? There we go. Oh, here comes Dexter trying to come through the cat flap. Dexter. Oh, Dexter. Don't go annoying ping pong. Uh, Garrett, uh, just an FYI, I graduated from high school back on June the 2nd. Ah, oh, yes, because you had your, um, oh, what do you call it, your prom, and I saw the pictures of you, and you, unfortunately, uh, now, Garrett has a amazing old car. Garrett, can you please tell us what car you have? Uh, Dyson Lux, why can I not see you? Um, I've decided to be camera shy for a minute. You can have a look at the lovely load. You can see me in the reflection there. Hiya. Oh, yeah. That's it, Garrett has a 1956 Oldsmobile Super 88 Deluxe Holiday, and I've seen pictures of it, and it reminds me, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it's not the same one, but it does remind me of um, Christine. Washing machines live longer if you don't use them. Very, very true. You can make a washing machine last forever if you don't use it. got the fan on by the way my gay fan like Max Max is my gay fan my dream car is a 64 and a half Mustang totally not because Zac Efron has one hot do you still have some presto powder left yes <clears throat> I've got a full box and a third. I gave one of the boxes of Presto to um, Bland Pants. Bland Pants is using it, and when he comes on the next live stream, I will. Um, we can ask him questions about it. Garrett we all need to do is get the new white oh all we need to do is get the new white wall tires on and give it a clean oh i can't wait to see christine with her white tires she's gonna look amazing do you have a name for it garrett do you have have you got a name for your car you should buy bold two in one it's got some like yellow and something it's really nice um, I think I have, oh no, it's not bold, it's surf. I have some surf ones. I'll have to try bold, actually. I haven't, I don't think I've ever tried bold from memory. I'm trying to think. 
Dad Jay, how come you didn't use the dark wash? Um, I should have, shouldn't I? But I think it was because I knew that I was going to be overloading the machine. Well, not overloading it, but using it on max. That um, I really wanted to make sure that everything would get washed properly. I tried Holly the Holiday, but thinking about Oscar the Oldsmobile. Oscar. Yeah. I like Oscar. Ow. It's sad, so sad, just a sad, sad situation. Um, Morgan, what would be your dream washer? Okay, I've got two. If I could have, in my laundry room, I would have a... 22 or 23 kilogram Samsung washing machine like you can get in the States so it's a big big massive 20 odd kilogram washing machine and it's got the um, smaller washing machine underneath in the drawer front loader washing machine with the with the machine underneath that would be one of them the other one then I'd have next to that would be a brand new Hoover Keymatic with the, it's it's like, um, it's, it's one of the, it's the early Hoover Keymatics that, um, that look like a cement mixer on the inside. Morgan, what's your dream washer? Half past nine. I have to go to bed in a minute. I have to leave for school at seven tomorrow because we're going to Dungeness B nuclear power plant. Oh, good God. You're going to come back glowing in the dark, Max. Uh, Chris Bronx. I'm just using the Almat liquid. Ah, okay. Very good. It's really good liquid. James, what about the LG from the USA? Um, no, I'd like to try the, um, the Samsung one that I saw. I, um, it's in one of my videos when I was in the States a uh, year before last. Um, that's the one that I want. Max, oh, I'm so sorry that we are going to have to, you're going to have to leave us, but it is a long wash today and we've still got one hour and 55 minutes to go. So I totally understand. Uh, Morgan, a 30 kilogram, 500 RPM, two drum, one washer underneath the machine. That's my washer. Ooh. Does that exist? I'd also like one of those ones... They're front-loading washing machines. They are small ones. They're like about two kilograms. They fit on the wall. I think they will make them. You can't buy them. I'd love one of them. J, 30 kilograms. That's huge. I meant 5,000. Five. <laughs> 5,000 RPMs, my God, you would have torn knickers. There would be nothing but fibers left. Garrett Hammersmith, I'll be back in a while. See ya. Okay, Garrett, don't worry. We still got two hours to go. One hour, 54 minutes.
Hammersmith is a place in, in London. Um, I wonder if Garrett Hammersmith knows that there is a place called Hammersmith in London. Morgan, ah, you had me laughing so hard. <laughs> Craig, time for dinner. Out. Oh, where you go in? You go in out for dinner, like out, out. James McNair, what Dyson DC-28 animal air muscle from the USA? What's that one? Oh God, yes, Morgan, I'd like one of them as well. Um, you should try the lavender almat gel. It smells better. Okay. I certainly will. I've had that almat for ages. Like, over a year, I've had that almat. Um, I bought it for washing vacuums in. But I haven't used it for a while. So I thought I would do a demo with it. Although I do, I did recently buy those um, Almat um, washing tablets. Morgan, what's your dream dryer? Um, I I don't know really. Just something big and big, like big capacity ones. You know, like the ones you find at the laundrette, so that there's like stacks of room for it to move around. So I like the tumble dryer that I have. So I guess my dream one would be to have it double the size. Max, I was having a laugh putting train announcements into Google Translate. The station pets would become small beetroot. <laughs> there is a channel on YouTube where a woman puts songs um, through Google Translate seven times and then sings them. Uh, Mark, have you tried Almat Bio Powder yet, Mr. Hooverlux? Um, I do have those um, tablets, the Almat tablets. Morgan Leatherland, yes, and me. James, same has the DC-27 animal, but with air muscle in it. What's air muscle? Max, I watch all. I watch that all the time. It's so funny. Satan takes me to the pasta. <laughs> Max, I didn't realize that you watched that channel too. I love that woman singing all those songs. It's hilarious. Uh, you can hear if you heard that clunking noise just then that's the um the weight balls moving around which is part of the centum system money is good one quarter of this is a terrorist country <laughs> uh everybody should go and check out that channel it's really good to say that this new phone the camera on it I've had some really really good um, filming on it recently 
come out so clear. Uh, Jay, what's your opinion of Theresa May? Um, I don't talk about political stuff, to be honest, because it just causes aggro. Um, check it out on YouTube, yes. Um, Morgan, where, where, where are your, oh, the V10, it's on the wall. Max, I like shapes, push and pull like the work of change. My conscious press in rain. I'm in love with system. <laughs> gradually watermelon. Gradually watermelon. Ah, oh, some of the titles that comes out on that channel after doing all those translators. It's hilarious. It's a complete gobbledygook. Uh, Morgan, where about in your house? It's actually here in the utility room, just behind the door. Um, if you go and have a look at my V10 video, you'll see me mounting it to the wall. And how were you mounted to the wall? Um, she was funny in that video clip you sent me. Just for the comments and subs, everyone keeps saying they're dream washers, but it would be interesting to see how people would design a washer and what features they would add. Um, just for the comments and subs, 1999. Um... To be honest, I would just like a washing machine system that you just you just dump the clothes into a hopper and it would sort, wash, dry, iron and spit out folded. That's basically what anybody wants. It's just a machine that would do everything. So you literally just fed a hopper. You know, you, put, you just put your basket into the hopper and you know two hours later everything comes out folded dry clean smelling lovely pick a pick a fragrance pick a you know didn't have to do anything just pick a pick a fragrance or whatever uh morgan can i see it now i can't unfortunately because i'm filming this but it's behind me it's behind me on the wall Goodbye, the yellow brick road. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, Max has just put on a link to the um, YouTube channel. There's the link to Google Translate singing. Oh, I have to say, that was a lovely cup of tea. Happy Lux definitely makes a nice cup of tea. Um, Morgan, uh, per, no comment, unfortunately. Toji! I'm back again, what have I missed? Nothing. We've got one hour, 49 minutes left, Toji. I am losing the will to live. 39.3 degrees. But I'm happy though because I'm with you guys, so I don't mind that. I keep chatting with you guys. I got my fan on again, I'm a bit hot. Uh, Jay, click on the link. Who's here? Andrew Sturmey. Who is that?
Ah, okay. I'll have to have a look. I will check it out, Jay. I'm going to put welcome aboard this southeastern service to Orpington calling at London Bridge, Lewisham, Hither Green, Grove Park, Elmstead Woods, Chislehurst, Petswood and Orpington. Okay, go on Max, do it. I want to see what it says. Uh, Morgan, I have to go for a bit. Okay, my friend, no worries. I'll see you in a minute. <clears throat> He puts cheese in the fabric softener. See you later, Morgan. See you in a bit, my friends. I hope you can stay to come back for the end when um, I do the opening of the filter and we'll have a look and see. Dave, my wife had one of them washers. Ooh, puts cheese in the fabric softener and then washes with it. Dave. <laughs> what would happen? <clears throat> I hope Toji isn't watching. Don't tell Toji. I'm back. When I get my vape.
Oh, I don't mind the links going in. Mark, it'll be interesting to see what if the machine heats back up if you put cold water in it. Um, I actually put warm water in it, so... <laughs> the results of GT are... Welcome to Orpington in the North East, Circle London Bridge, Lewisham Green Green, Grove Park, Elmstead Woods, um, Cheslehurst, Bates, OCC and Orbington. <laughs> um, Jay, it is... Um, Oh, what do they call it? It's after that um, TV series. It will cut out if you manually add water. Yes, if you add too much, it will. It'll think the machine is... Um, is, is leaking and it has an automatic cutoff. But I kind of okay at judging that. The reason why I wanted to add a little bit more water was because I wanted to see some suds. Which it's doing! We've got suds! Everybody wanted to see a suds lock. only stop if you go too overboard yes it's very true mark do you use nicotine free ones no I use quite a low one Toji what did I miss nothing um, just got a notification on a new video by Spencer aka washerlad 2014 on his new machine oh I like watching his videos I'll check him out after this um, but no, told you, you didn't miss anything. Nobody went rogue. Nobody added water to the washing machine. Now I'm doing, welcome aboard this southeastern service to Hastings, calling out Waterloo, East London Bridge, Orpington, Seven Oaks, Tonbridge, High Brooms, Tunbridge Wells, Frant. Make a big cloud. There we go, that's a mystery machine. That's what happens to in the shite washing machines and dumble dryers. That's what you get when you buy an Indershite. Uh, everyone please go and check out Washerlad2014's channel as he's a sound guy and makes some amazing videos on his machines. Yes, that's very right Toji. Do go and check out Washerlad2014 Washerlad and tell him that Toji and I sent you along. Max. Wadhurst, Stonegate, Etchingham, Robertsbridge, Battle, Crowhurst, West St. Leonard's, St. Leonard's, Warrior Square and Hastings. That sounds like a very nice place. Uh, Dave, what flavour is the vape? Um, it's, um, I'm trying to rack my brains. Um, oh, it's blue. And it's after that TV series that was on where the guy makes makes um, that blue drug. Eisenhower. No, not Eisenhower. It sounds like Eisenhower. It's so funny hearing you try to pronounce. Try? 
I pronounced them perfectly. I could work for Great Western Railways. Swansea, Neath, Portalbert, Merthyr Tydfil, Upper Cumtoch, Lower Cumtoch, Neath, Haverford West, Dinbacher Pascod, Llanvair Puth Gwingo Gogeret and Asilio Gogogoch. Um, how long is left? One hour and 32 minutes, Toji. We are still on washing and we didn't add any water to the machine. Wadhurst is actually pronounced Wadhurst. <laughs> Jay, he lied. <laughs> no we didn't Jay we didn't add any water to the machine <laughs> to make it suds up a bit more how many people are watching now We're down to 10 now. Um, Toji, you are right, Max. It's hilarious listening to Dorian pronouncing these places in Narnia. I know he ain't saying places in Narnia, by the way. <laughs> no, it's where it's Wales. Why am? Why I, man? Anybody in here from Bristol? This is Gert Lush. <laughs> you are in East Sussex. Oh, it's gonna get sudsy. But we didn't add any water to it, Toji, to make it sudsy. <laughs> Spin wash again. A little bit more sudsy this time. I think the reason why this washing machine or these washing machines don't sud up so much is because of the lack of water that they that you get so it is very hard to make these suds lock because um you know there you saw i've added some water into it and it's a bit more sudsy so if i was to add in even more water to it it would it would suds lock and i think a lot of the older machines did suds lock a lot because they used too much water in my opinion Which is another reason why I'm not a fan of um, top loaders because they are so much water used in them. How long left? Uh, one hour, 28 minutes. Uh, any minute now, we, stood sh we should start um, seeing the um, rinsing cycles. Nine, 
No, not yet. Told you we're still on wash, but I think any minute now we will start going on to the um, rinsing cycles. Results are welcome to Hastings Left. We speak Waterbridge, Waterfront, Responsible, Builder, Eichingham, Roberts, Patel, Crowhurst, St. Leonard's West, St. Leonard's Hastings, War Warrior. <laughs> Diamond Blade 2008. I like the quietness of that. It is. Is that one of the LG Direct Drive dry, dry washers? Yes, it is. Just in from work. Jason is my name. If you want my ad to address me in your video. So, hello, Jason. Diamond Blade 2008. Hello, Jason. Welcome to the channel. Mark Leslie. The old washing machines used to suds lock because they would increase the spin speed very quickly and the pump couldn't keep up. If you packed this thing full of towels and used extra detergent, this might... Um, yeah, possibly. Max, I'm off to bed. Night, y'all. Night, Max. Enjoy your trip to the nuclear power plant tomorrow. Have a fab evening. Andrew Cleaversley. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Diamond Blade. Hello. Sorry, I meant washer. I think I was too tired from work. Aww. Uh, Jay's put a link. Or something ah uh, it's okay I, I, I knew you meant washer <laughs> what uh, so Jason came back from work what were you doing what is your work Jason what do you do I work as a bus driver in London. Ah, crumbs. I don't envy you at all, Jason. It must be a difficult, blumming job driving through London with all that traffic. I don't envy you. Do you drive one of those lovely, lovely, lovely new buses? Or are they um, one of the older ones? I do love the look of those really, really new buses, but driving them, if you do, is that a different story? Twenty years, blum and egg. Uh, the newer electro hybrid buses, not the new Route Master bus. All right, okay. And what are they like to drive, Jason? Very nice and slow moving traffic. It switches to the battery, so it's very silent. The engine kicks in above 20 miles an hour. Um, oh, hang on. We're getting suds. Oh, look at that lovely suds. Very nice and slow moving traffic. So relaxing. How long is left? Morgan, we've got one hour and 23 minutes left. What's this one? Pull it tight. Pull it tight, okay. Ah. 
No, oh, right, okay, that's cool. You get two parts. Oh, is there a man in the back of that? Yeah, you gotta take those thin clips off with the arrows. Off? Yeah. Remove them? Yeah. Oh, that's a pain. Can you put them to that side? Can you like that? Yeah. So what's this one? Can't remember its name. And then? Lift it, lift it up. Ah, okay. There's a little car in the back. Oh wow, that's a robot. Yeah. Oh my god, that's really cool. That looks like um that looks like Dexter. Yeah. If Dexter was a robot, he'd look like that. That's really cool. I'm put it back in my gun oh, okay, pass it a little bit. Can you lift up the bit Oh. That's really cool. Do those come off? These are they just the engines? No, they're engines. Yeah, I like the pipes to them as well. That's really cool. Yeah. Put it back together. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Mark Fontaine, I'm back. Just been kicking shit out of the LEG. AEG. What's happened to it, Mark? Uh, you can almost smell the freshness in this video. Honeymoon fresh, Diamond Jason. Morgan, wow, hubby Lux. Just going to get a drink, would you like one? Yes, please, can I have a iron brew? Toji, Dorian, can you ask hubby my last question for him, please? Oh, yeah. Um, Toji asked, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very good and 10 being very naughty, what am I on for this week? Eleven. Ew! <laughs> Did you hear that, Toji? He said eleven. It's more like minus eleven. So what is this? This is the classic. Yes, classic space. Classic space it's got a number, Lego. Number, I can't remember. And it's got a number, but I can't remember. I do like that one. I like that one a lot. That's really cool. Do these spaceships like have names and stuff? Yeah. We can't remember it. <clears throat> uh, Mark, it just uh, coming up one iron brew. Thank you very much, Jason. <clears throat> Mark, it just does not wash right. <clears throat> Toji, ha ha, have you sold you out, Dorian? <laughs> Oh, they come out as well, like telescopic. Ah. He loves me really, Toji. Did they move? Oh, I'm just going to sit on an angle like that. Yeah. Windows to me. Oh, I have to stretch my legs. Uh, Mark, do you use Comfort Softener? Yes, I did in this one. I use, well, I didn't use Comfort. I used Lenore, but I do use Comfort. It all depends what's on offer, to be honest. I'm not really that fussy when it comes to fabric softener. Toji, I really miss my girl. Oh. Um, Jason, oh yes, yeah, something I wanted to ask you, what is the spin speed on that? On my Samsung washer, it's 1400 RPM, but I know some machines can spin up to 16 or even 1800 RPM. Is 1800 RPM overkill or something? 
Uh, Dave Jones. Uh, Dave Jones wants to play with the Star Wars, Star, the Star Light Lego, Lego. Um, next time you come over, Dave, we will. No way. Let me get touched. <laughs> um, this one, um, Jason has a fourteen hundred RPM. Um, but yeah, um, my old machine was sixteen hundred. I don't think I've ever had one with eighteen hundred RPM. Um, I don't know whether it would be called overkill, I don't know. The Gorenji Use Logic WA65205 washing machine spins up to 2000 RPMs. Oh my god. Ferengi. Ferengi. The uh, Gorengi or Gorengi or Gorengi, I don't know, Gorengi. Ferengi. Suds log! Almost. It's lovely and sudsy. So Toji, what do you do you think that two you know eighteen hundreds overkill? Sixteen hundred good? I mean I have no issues in my fourteen hundred. But I think two thousand RPM was going into the point of diminishing returns. <laughs> exactly going into the black hole. Jay, where has my spanner gone? Uh, it's been taken off you for deleting a message. Mark, how much detergent did you put in that? <laughs> um, only the recommended amount, which was 150 milliliters. Um, but I did add some water into it. Don't tell Toji. Um, yeah, Toji, I don't know why it's sudsier than most of the time. I have no idea. It's almost as if someone added water into it. Don't delete anybody. Um, Mark, blame Hubby Lux. Yep, Hubby Lux is fault why it's got suds lock. My Samsung washer has a function called bubble soak, which makes the suds frothier. I think it pumps air into the suds or something. Um, Dave, will Scott get Luna Lander Lego? No. No? Why? No, they like the classic space. Nah, he only likes classic space. Have you taken Gilgan out? I haven't yet. Are you making another one? Sure. Oh, please. Ah, uh, Happy Lux is making a cup of tea. Does anybody want a cup of tea? Get it yourself. Toji, how dare you add more water? <laughs> well, who told Toji that we added water into the machine? <laughs> Uh, what's happened to the stream? Is it, it has frozen? I don't think so. Yay! Also, give me my back, my spanner. Yeah, you got your spanner, but no more deleting messages and deleting people, or putting them into um, timeout. Now it's working. My bad. Click pause by mistake. Jason, we forgive you because you're tired. Um. Yeah, I did actually. Told you. <laughs> Oh, there's Joey. This one? Yeah. Hang on. Uh, let me take that. Yeah. It spilled everywhere. Oh, I can't. Don't have to Don't move worry. my entire thing. Don't worry. Is this treat still in that cupboard? No. Hang on. Doggies this need a treat. <laughs> Doggies need a treat. I need to move my ass. There, they, they can have whirlers. Yeah. Oh, happy likes. It wasn't me, it was you. 
Ugh. Dirty muffin. <laughs> Joey blew himself inside out, Daddy. Mark Fontaine, buy-in and in the set. No! Please, quick, Toji, recommend him a washing machine. Don't get an in the shite. Washer Lad 2014, hello, have you seen my new machine yet? Uh, no, as soon as I come off this live stream, I am going to watch your video Diamond Blade Ah, oh, Jason is off to bed now but I hope to see you one of your future streams night or yes Diamond Blade comment on my videos or can't send me an email can't Instagram contact me it'd be really nice to stay in contact with you Mark Fontaine Intercept Rock Washala 2014 it's a Bosch Hydrosense uh, WF P3300 that I've got. J, hello, Spence. Spencer. Uh, let's have a look. I'm going to go too quickly to Wash a Lad's channel just to have a quick look. Um, oh, it hasn't. Oh, that's very nice. Introducing my new Bosch Hydra sensor. So, yes, I will be looking at that. Wow, jeepers, creepers. What? That's, that's a lot of suds. What happened to that machine? 22 hours ago you did that, and then you got another one, and you did 41 minutes ago. But jeepers, creepers, that's a lot of suds. Uh, says me that's creating suds locks. Mark Fontaine, I'll buy a Bosch. Uh, Jason, of course. Excellent. Thank you, Jason. Thank you so much for your comments and everything and joining in. And I will speak to you very soon. Uh, Dave, is a spanner someone who makes your nuts tighten? Yep. And, Dave, as you are one of my best mates, I'm going to make you a moderator. Ta-da! Um, how long has the main wash been on for? It must be at least three hours. Yes, it is. Uh, Washer Lad 2014, the spanner is the hammer. If there's too many suds, it means too much detergent has been used. Um, to be honest, I shouldn't have added the water into it. Hence, an intelligent washing machine. Plus, it's had three hours of washing. Oh, here we go. We're going into rinsing now, Toji. We're going into rinsing. The pump has come on. The machine has changed to rinse. Mince. Mince, not rinse. Mint. Let's see what happens because it should do a spin now. Toji, for finally, first intermediate spin. 1000 RPMs. That's why we love a Toji. Um, has anyone uh, watching this, has anyone been watching the Black Mirror series, the new episodes? Oops. Oh, top ribs. Uh, Tea overload. <sighs> okay, do we reckon... Okay, I'll take the other side. Do you reckon that this is going to have issues? I don't think we are. Uh, okay. Toji, Spence, I told everyone on this live stream to go and check out your channel and to subscribe as well for you. Yes, he did, Toji, and so did I. Dave, gone with the wind. <laughs> Toji, no, it won't because I'm here. Exactly. Okay, the pump. 
pump is going. No suds lock. First spin attempt as well. Suds lock? No, no suds lock. Doesn't sound balanced, we will soon see. Let's have the luck of the Toji. Luck of the Toji. Luck of the Toji. Luck of the Toji. Pump kick in. Oh, look at that! It's doing the um, it's doing the clean water rinse thing. Wow, that's interesting. If you look up here, if you can see here, this is uh, fresh water going in for a rinse. As if it was on a um, turbo wash, but this not a, it's not on turbo wash. did have suds lock. I can hear the pump trying to um, coming out of, I can hear the um, suds going, trying to go through the pump. Yeah, you're absolutely right, there is a suds lock. So I take that back. Um, Jay, you're right, suds lock. But it is a very lovely smart washing machine to detect these kinds of things and to stop it. Uh, Dave, yes, I watch Black Mirror. We watched the interactive episode and we watched the first um, Scott. Yeah. On the Black Mirror, we watched the we watched the interactive episode and then we watched the first one, didn't we? Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it going to spin or not? Band, was it? Band of Snatch. We haven't watched that yet. That was the movie we did watch it, the interactive one. Oh, I thought it was another movie. No. Band of Snatch. Oh. Um, is it going to spin or not then? I think it is now, to be honest. I think it's going to try it again. Maybe. Um, and it, no, I don't need to do that to be honest because it's what Mark said. Um, it's got three rinses to sort it out. Dexter, come on. Dexter. Where's those dog treats? I know that, but just to coax them over. Oh, he's going there. Oh, Dexter's on top of the washing machine, everybody. In the meal one. <laughs> there he is. Dexter is the cat of the washing machine. Right, the 
just go back to this. Something interesting. Hey, yo. It's a new one. Morgan, hello Dexter. There we are, see? Dexter Morgan, Morgan. Saw Dexter. Dexter, Morgan. Dexter Morgan, that's his name, is Dexter Morgan. Dexter Morgan McMagrain. He's, De he's called Dexter Morgan because of the television series Dexter. And his name was Dexter Morgan. <clears throat> uh, Dorian, your Toji luck has kicked into overdrive with that last suds lock. <laughs> we're going for a record year the longest washing machine live stream that YouTube's ever seen Washer 2014, I uploaded a complete cycle bit of my new machine. Excellent. Well, folks, will we get another suds lock or will we not? Place your bets now, ladies and gents. Um, no, we're not going to get a suds lock now, Toji. Absolutely, definitely. I, I, I put my granny's pants on it. Okay, so we're carrying on now and it's putting in some water on the sprayer arm up here, fresh water. It's doing another turbo wash rinse. Um, I know, I don't, I know. I, I say no, I say no, we're not gonna get another sets lock now. Yes, it is. Do you want to spray rinse? It stopped doing it. Mm. And I believe we're going to go up to a thousand RPMs, Toji, you said, didn't he? go boys no sense luck I just want you to hear how quiet it is so I'm gonna shut up now Leslie. So, Toji, is there any way for Dorian to check what the spin speed is, like what you could do with the old ones? 
No. I don't I don't know if you can. It's quite funny because I was talking to a subscriber yesterday, last night actually, we were messaging each other back about, um, okay it's ramping back up, so this is a funny cycle because it's this, this spin is like the final spin where it goes, slows down and then goes up to full, and this is doing that, but this is, there's still one hour left of rinsing to do. So this cotton cycle um, is a bit um, is a bit unusual. Have we done a rinse yet? No, no, no. We've still got one hour of rinsing to go, but this cotton cycle seems to be doing this this kind of like spin as if it's the end, but it's not. Uh, Dave Jones, don't let the sun go down on me. Too late. Don't let your sun go down on me. Do, 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 do. I gotta tell myself there's someone else to be. So we're ramping back up. Are we gonna hit 1400 uh, Toji? And is it doing this because of the suds lock maybe? Does it have a system where it thinks, right, we better spin the buggery out of these clothes to get as much solution detergent out of them? Oh my god, Toji stumped. I, I don't know. I think this is... I don't normally do a cotton cycle like this on the um, on the live stream, but I've seen it do this before, so, so I think it's just part of the um, cotton cycle that I got in on. I'd have to go back and check my other videos that have the cotton cycle, but I'm sure, no I'm not sure, I know that it does these rinse cycles on this cotton cycle. It does the turbo wash, I've seen it before. up to 1400 rpms it's got just over 11 kilograms of laundry in it full to the max but 
And this is what the cotton cycle does. <laughs> at some point in a free hour Toji go back and check my um, go back and check my other videos where I do cotton washes and you'll see that it does that turbo wash rinse in them it's just part of that cycle see that turbo rinse I'm sure you see it in every spin on the cotton cycles First rinse. <clears throat> I kind of use the cotton cycles more than I do the other ones, to be honest. I kind of vary. Um, I vary the washes for like doing the videos with you guys. But when I'm not filming, I normally do, especially for whites and colours, I use the cotton cycles. And then for dark clothing, I will use the dark cycle. But um, generally, those are the those are the washes I kind of like stick to. Those are my everyday cycles. When it's not been a pain in the ass and being all <coughs> finickety and sort of like being a pain in the ass regarding the balancing, the Centum suspension system does work really well. Um, I suppose so, but generally I stick shirts in with um, with e with everything else. Like, if I could have fitted those shirts that uh, into the wash today, I would have. But I don't particularly put shirts on a on a special shirt wash. Not not normally. I guess that's because I'm more of an end user when it comes to washing machines than a restorer, collector, you know. Do you know what I mean?
<laughs> I wish you did this early as I have school tomorrow, but I don't want to leave this live stream until the very end. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Toji. I genuinely didn't think it was going to be this long, and I was like, oh, do you know what? Stuff it. If I only end up with Toji and Jay watching, I'd be more than happy. There's a bonus that there's everyone else is still watching too. We still got 10 people watching. Is Jay still here? Um, yeah, he messaged at 22.39, so I think he's still on. Morgan, I know your next dryer dynamic next hoover. No, sorry, I'd never buy a hoover. Washed my sheets today with lavender detergent and softener. They smell so good. Uh, we talked about this before, didn't we, Jay? Yes, I... I do like the lavender fragrance, especially for bedding. Well, there's plenty of water in the um, machine, but um, I wish it did have a bit more in it because I, well, I did overfill it. Again, this cotton cycle is different to the others. It behaves differently, which you'll see more. Being during the wash, if you watch throughout the actual wash, it did a lot more of those kind of like spin rinse things that you wouldn't find in the other cycles. So this, for you guys, yeah. Uh, I know you have used uh, Speed 14 in the past, but you haven't tried it on 40 or at the max spin speed allowable. Would you be able to film that sometime, perhaps with those shirts? Um, the Speed 14 is rubbish. It doesn't clean anything. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking of the um, I'm thinking of the delicates. So, do you want me to? Did you want me to do the Speed 14? Mark with the um, like maximum of everything, so it makes it like 40 minutes or something. Is that what you wanted me to try? How long's left on the clock? Uh, only 54 minutes, Toji. <coughs> go and put your pajamas on, go and have a pee, <clears throat> go and take your iPad or your phone or whatever you're watching on, sit in your bed. Yeah, common large would have taken about six hours, yeah. So we are now ending the rinse. Second intermediate spin, 1200 RPMs, Toji, uh, maybe. That's very true, Jay. Um, I, I believe you could have done at least three or four. Definitely. I think most people would have. Dave, I've got work. It is a late one, Davey boy. Yeah, 
Yes, I'm, I'm sure we will have... I'm, 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 I'm 99% sure that this has the... Well, that's not very balanced. Load for the look of it. Yeah, I'm almost positive that this cycle does the spinner rinse on everyone, which is the reason why it doesn't do the spray jet on the rinses. Oh god, Toji, let's get the Toji in. That, that doesn't look very balanced at all. Morgan Leathern, is it possible to get a shout out in your next video, please? The videos that I normally do, I'm, I'm, I'm in advance, so I am literally... This is because there's still water be, to be pumped out. Paddles are splashing the water. Stop now. Oh, there we go. There's the spinner rinse. I don't know though. It seems to be working. The reason why it's making that noise is because there's water. You are pumping it out now. I can hear the water. So the paddles aren't touching it anymore. Spinner rinse is on. For some reason, the pump doesn't seem to be fast enough for the machine. Do you know what I mean? I think they should have had uh, possibly a bigger pump. But I wish that the machine would do this spinner rinse in every single cycle. <laughs> uh, Morgan Leathern, yeah, that's right. Sorry, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I'm I'm in advance on my videos for um, over a month. So at the moment, I have a video done, edited, uploaded, and scheduled onto YouTube until the middle of July, and that's a video every day. So I try and do these kinds of um, videos, the live streams, so that I that is my chance to give everybody the shout outs. So. I mean, technically, this video is live, but once it's finished going live, it goes, it goes on the channel to be watched again and again. So, basically, everybody that I say hello to on here, you're getting your shout out. So, Morgan Leatherland, this is your shout out. <laughs> cycle on and off all the time. Yes, I agree. Algies are like that. People never have a problem with it most of the time. It's true, but I still wish that they would bloody keep the pump on all the time. Morgan, <laughs> you're making me laugh. Aww. So Morgan, you said that you are Dawn's, well, brother, or brother-in-law. <clears throat> oh yeah, you must be her brother-in-law. Brother, are you married? I have been to Alton Towers for years. Morgan, yes, to a woman.
How long left? Uh, 45 minutes, guys. Morgan. No. Ah. Alexa. Tell me a joke. What you call a deer with no eyes, no idea. Mm. Alexa, tell me a story. Alexa, add Tampax to the shopping list. There we go, girls. You're going to get caught up next time. <laughs> to remind me I won't do it anymore Alexa stop there we go she shut up now <laughs> that's it Dexter in the bin <laughs> Toji, we're going to do another 1400 RPMs. <clears throat> lovely, lovely, lovely fast spins to spin out all those chemicals from the washing detergent. Make a cloud. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> Mark, just had neighbor at door, Dexter woke him up. <laughs> I made too much of a cloud. in visual effects of what happens when you buy an indershite. Especially tumble dry. Edward Byrne, yes, we're still going. We are still on. We are still live. We've only got 40 minutes left. Edward, what have you missed? With the e-cig? Nah. Less than I would if I was smoking. Was watching Love Island. Oh, God. Some fit blokes on Love Island. Is that why you were watching it? With, was you looking at the boobies? Or was you looking at the willies? Uh, Morgan Leatherland, um, what vape juice do you use?
Edward boobs me. Fruit salad. Ooh, nice. Um, Heisenberg. I remember the name of the. I remember the name of the vape. How long does it take for a candle to burn? I don't know. It depends on the size of the candle. In your case, four hours. Toji, what's so special about Love Island again? The boobies and the willies. I like the fruit salad one, Marvel Morgan. So how come you um, came across my channel then, Morgan? Was it because of um, Dorney? a young lady from Gloucester who was a bit of imposter <laughs> and I'm not continuing with that the boobies and the willy um no I was looking on YouTube and you were recommended ah Jay Fantham, hello. Hello! Is it me you're looking for? Cause I can see it in your eyes. And I give you a big surprise. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever tried. Oh yeah, definitely told you. David Lloyd, do you prefer a washer dryer or just a washer on its own? Absolutely, I prefer a washer on its own and a dryer on its own. Although I could be massively wrong. Massive! Blow a vape in front of the machine. I did. called the in the shite vape. That's what happens when you buy an in the shite tumble dryer. She's a man eater. Edward, this has to be the longest wash. Girl, I need to put it on a cotton large for you. <coughs> Morgan, hello, I'm back. iPad died. I had to plug mine in. I'm on 13%. It's in the shite, Dorian, not in the shite. In the shit. In the shit. In the shit. Ah, uh, okay, in the shit. I, I, I just thought it would be more polite to say shite. Morgan, you were recommended to me on YouTube. Ah, but had Dawny told you that she watched my channel? Jordan Bunce, um, how long uh, exactly is the cotton large wash? Oh my God, I'm not joking, Jordan. It can really take up to five hours. Morgan, no, I had found you first. Ah. 
There you are, Jay Phantom, up to six hours. Uh, Edward Byrne, you dry in the load tonight in dryer. Um, I'm going to dry some of the load tonight in the dryer. The rest I'm going to hang up. Uh, Toji, where is your bloody charging brick? 41 minutes. Toji needs to get a charging brick. Ow, ow. I need to move. My whole right side of my body has gone into bloody cerebral palsy mode. I can't move. Ugh. I need to move my ass, cause my ass is going to sleep. <clears throat> I need to move my kitty, cause my kitty's going to sleep. Oh, my pussy's going to sleep. Oh, my pussy's going to sleep. Oh, that's better. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. Work hard all my lifetime. No help from my friends. Oh Lord, won't you buy me? A Mercedes Benz. <sighs> yes, I did. I started at 7 o'clock. Uh, how long has it got left? Uh, 39 minutes. <sighs> wow, that's long. Very, That's very true, Jordan. It is very, very long. It's long, thick, and hard. Edward Byrne, you started at 6 or 7 p.m. this video and won't finish until a quarter to midnight. I know. We are going for the Hoover Lux record of longest wash vlog. Mark, Toji's iPhone battery won't last long if he keeps charging it like that. <laughs> Morgan, how long is left? Uh, 39 minutes, I said that, yes. Uh, hey, Hammersmith, London. Garrett Hammersmith, hi, I'm back. What did that mean? I don't know, what did you have to eat, Garrett? Morgan Leathern, four hours long. Definitely. I'm back. You are XX Dark Knight 2004, said he'd be back, and he is. David London, I love London Town. Right, we're going into another spin. And to think my washing machine can do a full load in about 50 minutes. Well, so can this, but we purposely picked a long load for it, just for the test. We had pork roast with potatoes and carrots, green beans, grits and gravy. It's funny, it's really funny, Garrett. No, you may not know this, maybe you do. Um, what we call a broil, what you call guys call a broiler, we call a grill. And what you guys call the grill, we call the barbecue. Morgan, why it takes so long? Um, because I specifically chose this cycle um, just so that you guys could see how long it can be. Why a washing machine needs to be so long is another question. We call it a barbecue. Yeah, we call it a barbecue. Um, 
but there was another thing as well when our friends were living over from the states our friends in buffalo when they were living in england and they sent us a text message saying that we've been invited to um a barbecue with all the oh god what was it called not trimmings we were invited to a barbecue with all the fixings that was it so with all the fixings and we were like what the hell is fixings we had to google it Right, now that has stopped, so you can see the pump, in my opinion, the pump doesn't pump out fast enough. Because it's only now that the paddles on spin aren't um, flapping up against water at the bottom of it. Salamander is the official term for a commercial grill. Uh, Morgan, I recommend this song for your intro and outgo. Which song, um, Morgan? Uh, Dexter out of room. Uh, why is it spraying in water on the spin? Uh, because it's a spinner rinse. It's spraying, it's spraying in um, fresh water for rinsing. It's fantastic. It really does rinse your clothes. Really, just like the old-fashioned washing machines. Um, and the, the Miele ones as well, they do exactly the same thing. There's a number of washing machines that actually spray in um, clean water during the rinsing to really make sure that the detergent is washed out of your clothes. And this cotton cycle does it as standard. It's Vibe Mountain Clover 3. Oh, I've never heard of that. Is it um, copyright free, Mr. Morgan? Yeah, exactly. That's very right, Edward. A lot of them do. Um, the top loaders do that kind of um, rinse. Yes. Graham Clifford. Hi, Overlooks. Hey, Graham. How are you, my friend? Jordan Bunce. Very clever. Upstairs for thinking, Jordan. Downstairs for dancing, my friend. Wizard! Hello, Wizard. How are you, my lovely friend? I've spoke to you for ages. I feel fed up. Oh, babes, why are you fed up? It's been too long. Um, I have been watching your videos, and you grow about six inches in height every video. What have you been eating? I think you've been eating fertilizer. Craig, are we still at it? Holy crap, yes. We have got 30 minutes left, Craigie. I thought, Craig, that a four hour session wouldn't put you off at all, my friend. Dave, don't talk about food. Um, have you ever heard the song uh, A More Fantastico? It is in German and I have been addicted to it for a while. Um, no, I can't say I have. I will have to... Um, have to Google it. Graham Clifford, I just got mind. Wizard, I grow six inches once a year. <clears throat> now, Wizard, go and check out his channel. He's in America. 
and uh, he's got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of vacuum videos if you like vacuum videos oh thank you mark mark has just put on a super chat for me thank you very much my lovely friend oops dexter um edward don't you do this cycle again um well normally i do i do put it on but i don't sit in front of it doing the um live vlogs <laughs> i normally just put it on and then bugger off and do my videos in the garage or wherever, blah, 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 and then come back and it's done. Graham Clifford. I mean, I got a lot on my mind. I message sometime. Yes, Graham, message me. And we can have a chat. Oh, dang, a super chat. You're growing fast. We all heard that. Ah, It's just to say a big thank you. I think it's fantastic. I love it. Anything is just amazing. Dyson Lux, I have returned. Hello, Mr. Lux. 29 minutes left. This is the final rinse because that white liquid pouring into my giant machine is the softener. To put a sizzle to your sausage. Mm. Oh, Dave, you are a mink. I need to post more videos, to be honest. I haven't showed my latest find. Ooh. Edward Byrne, that's a very long final rinse and spin. Um, I guess so. There are quicker ones. I could have shortened it. So, yeah, go and check out Wizard. Uh, he's a really nice guy. And, like, literally, he is, like... I don't know. How tall are you now, Wizard? You must be about bloody six foot. Garrett. It's 6.13 p.m. in Ohio. Graham, Clifford, Hooverlux, our video wash bedding. Um, I do have... I, I, was, I was talking to Jay about that uh, earlier. Um, I do have a king-size uh, duvet to wash. But not yet. But I do have a king-size duvet to wash. Dyson Lux, same. Bear with me, guys. I just need to change the battery in the light. Morgan Leatherland, I wish I could message you more often. Well, send me an email and I will give you my number. Wizard, I paid 19 bucks for it. It's a Kenmore Progressive Direct Drive. Ooh. Intel Clean, all its tools, the extra edition floor nozzle. It came with its register form and a HEPA bag, brand new. Goodwill, I love you. Oh, my God. Wizard, get that on a YouTube video, please, my friend. <clears throat> Graham Clifford, nice one. Um, are you go video that cool how LG washing machine I can't find? Uh, Garrett, uh, Morgan, just email him, yes. Morgan Leatherland, in my email, goody, goody, goody. Uh, Garrett, wizard, is that Kenmore Gray? In colour. Toji, right, I'm back. Looks like we're on final rinse. 
Yes, we are Toji. We are back with 27 minutes. Yep, 27 minutes. Uh, Morgan, I will do in the morning. Excellent, Morgan. I look forward to speaking to you. Can the LG do a full wool cycle? No problem. Um, no, it can't. The um, Delicates program on it is absolutely crap. I do, if you go back and check in my back catalogue, I do have um, a wool cycle video and it was absolutely crap. I ended up having to put it on a, a Speed 14 at a 20 minute wash. I think it was something like that. Wizard. Garrett, Hammersmith, Soda, it's grey blue. Morgan, how fast is the spin? 1400 watts of pure spin power. Oh, it's a moth. Uh, Garrett, Wizard, if it is grey, then it's the same cleaner that the cleaning lady uses at work. <laughs> So you guys, I have got two more videos in the lineup for the um, Hoover Junior Dirt Searcher refurb. Tomorrow is the final of the refurb and then the video on Tuesday is the full house demonstration. Edward, practically, uh, Morgan, uh, I mean, I meant on the wool wash. Ah, right, sorry. Um, how fast is the spin on the wool wash? Um, um, oh, crap, I can't remember, Morgan. I'm so sorry. I, I genuinely can't remember. I wish I did have an Android phone so that I could actually download cycles onto it because you can download um, more cycles onto it so i would definitely like to do that garrett she has a lot of floors to clean because i work at a car dealership oh garrett are they um are they new cars or what brand what or, or general uh, second hand cars what tell me about it Toji, what about the J Phantom series, as you call it, when you were washing the curtains? Yes, I've still got a couple more videos of them to go as well. Um, so you will see them. I've just kind of like split them up. So it's kind of like a mix of the of my washing machines and demos and also refurbs as well and stuff. So um, Morgan, don't worry, Dorian. OK, uh, hi, Toji. How are you doing? He's doing very well, is our lovely Toji. But he needs to get a power brick. Uh, Toji, max spin on the gentle care is 800 RPM, I believe. Graham Clifford, yep, I can on my LG download cycle. Yes, I need to do that, but it doesn't work with my iPhone. Um, it's, it just it won't link up for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Garrett, Ford and Lincoln, new and used. Oh, my God. I just love, you know, a majority of the American videos, uh, American cars. Wizard, ew. Toji, final spin, 1400 RPM with a turbo wash spin on it, which is fantastic. How long is left? 24 minutes, Mark. 24 minutes. Uh, 800 seems fast for gentle care. My candy does 400. Morgan, I really recommend the GTEC Air Ram Mark 1. It's great. Now, I do like the GTEC Air Ram for its pickup. Um, I've never tried the first generation. I've only ever tried the second generation. And I thought they were brilliant. The only thing I don't like about them is the dust collector. Is the dustbin. But everyone knows that. I don't like the dustbins on Baglers. Okay, Toji. As you can hear, that's flapping around because the pump has turned off. The, 
the the water pump turns itself on and off and it's off at the moment which is stupid because it's filling up with water as it's spinning making that splashing noise oh that's my head in graham clifford are you going to do more videos on the lg washing machine yes because it's the only main washing machine i have the other ones are just for fun Morgan, are you still doing the what pump? Are you still doing? Yes, I am. Yes, Morgan, I'm definitely doing the pump. I'm doing that for you, only for you. Garrett, I'm also the proud driver of a Ford F-150 truck. Nice truck. Graham, I love other uh, washing machine. You've got old washing machine. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I have a functional hot point supermatic deluxe twin tub, which I will do once the weather gets a bit warmer. Toji, don't worry, Dorian. Your Toji luck is kicking in again. It bloody well is. That's why I need you on every video, my friend. But can you see my can you see my annoyance on that pump? Why is that pump not pumping out continuously? It'll stop now because the pumps go in, the water's draining, and there we go, it stopped. Uh, Edward Byrne, any tips to make my Vax Hoover smell next when in use? Um, yes, if you've watched any of the videos, you know I use those little vacuum disc air fresheners um, if you put one of them in the exit filter uh, what I would recommend to do is to cut one in half and put it on either side of the filter not to cause a big blockage point um, and then fit it and then you will have a lovely smelling washing a uh, lovely smelling vacuum cleaner It really is Toji, says David, yes. Garrett, I have promised my dad that tomorrow I will clean his 1970 Chevrolet Cheville convertible uh, to get ready for the summer. Toji, how long is left on the clock? 17 minutes, Toji, by 17 minutes. We still have, we have 17 people watching. The um, yeah, it's still doing. It's doing the um, spraying, spraying in lots of lovely clean water. Uh, told you no, I won't know because I am going to look at the pump. So um, the lovely Morgan. Leatherland asked me at the beginning of the stream about the pump so I'm going to open up the pump for the first time in six months to have a look inside <laughs> my ring in sick I think you'd have to uh, Davey uh, Graham okay where are we Garrett, the night is still very young in Ohio, and so am I. Graham, I love YouTube channel. I love uh, your YouTube channel on LG washing machine. Thank you, Graham. Edward, spinning for 17 minutes, and I bet there won't be a crease in sight. No. <laughs> Everything's going to be creased to buggery. If 
if anybody would like to give a donation of a pound, they'd be more, more than welcome. <laughs> hint, hint. I should have put it on crease care. Eighty eight hundred, yes, Toji, you're right. I believe you. I really do believe you. And we're gonna slow down to what? Three hundred RPMs and then we ramp up then to fourteen hundred. Toji, I have a question for you. This washing machine, even though it doesn't say Centum on it, when I did my research, because someone said to me, this is not a Centum washing machine. And basically, I not argued with him, but I said to him, yes, it is, because I went on the LG website and the Centum system is what this is. Why did... Why didn't LG put on this machine that it's the Centum system? Um, yeah, why didn't they put that on the machine? That's normal for now. Yeah, someone said that it goes on and off for the LGs. My LG washing machine does that normal. I mean, I love you, YouTube channel. Oh, I love you too, Graham. Thank you. Uh, Dave, send you two for your cheek. <laughs> oh, no, you already did send two. Uh, Wizard, I just found out uh, to send my PC photos off my phone. I have to do it through Bluetooth. I thought Bluetooth was for music only. No, no, Bluetooth's for anything. Toji, I don't know, maybe they thought the load capacity would make it fairly obvious that it's a Centum. <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it's just really weird, Toji, because people you know that he was adamant that this is not a Centum washing machine because it's not a Centum machine. So I, I, I got on the LG website and LG stuff and did a bit of research on it. And LG Centum is the suspension design and it, the, the tub that leans back and everything. And I, it had me doubting myself because this is a Centum washing machine, but uh, just bloody buggers me that LG didn't put Centum on it and only put a bloody 10 year warranty on it when they should have put a bloody 20 year warranty on the motor uh, well it's only the 11 kilogram and 12 kilogram that has the Centum system as far as I know um, oh right okay oh I don't understand uh, J Phantom, yes, we are still going. Uh, Graham, uh, Graham Clifford, uh, you have nothing to worry about. The LG washing machine, it's a great machine. F fingers and toes crossed, um, Graham. Fingers and toes crossed. Uh, maybe I'll go live once I clean my room. Yes, wizard, clean your room, you mucky bugger.
Mark Leslie, I've just had a thought. Um, Garrett, <clears throat> we need to try and video chat sometime. And are you going to do a 4th of July video for your American viewers? 4th of July? Oh, um, I hadn't really thought about doing a themed 4th of July video, to be honest, because, um, I hadn't really thought about it to be honest. I don't. I don't normally do. I do. Oh God. I don't normally do that kind of thing. I know. I'll always kind of like wish you guys happy Fourth of July, happy Thanksgiving. But I know that there are other channels out there who put all the bells and whistles out for um, the American holidays. So it's not because I don't want to or I don't love you guys. I just don't normally do that kind of thing. I drink too much soda at my desk. Got like 30 cans on it. Wizards! I hope it's Diet Coke. Uh, Edward, I told, I got told washing machines la these days are built to only last four years. Is this true or bull? If you buy an Indershit, a White Knight, a Beko, a Grundig, a Hoover, four years is definitely the limit. Anything over four years. In the set, um, hot point. <gasps> Wizard, you're gonna end up with bloody, bloody diabetes by the time you're four, 15. Will it come with a turkey and stuffing? You, I'll come with a, with a, with um, a turkey and stuffing for you next time you come over. Edward Byrne, I drink four litres of coke a day. Oh, oh my God, you are pickling your insides. Uh, the fact I don't got it yet, shocking. I eat two bags of airheads a week. Bloody hell. Feeling quite peckish now, Dave. <laughs> Toji, everyone please also check out Witch Washer 2007's channel as he's an amazing guy with lots of amazing videos on lots of different washing machines in his workshop and some of his own as well. There we go, everyone go check out Witch Washer 2007 please. With me, it's one can a night with dinner. <laughs> Edward Byrne, we can survive the zombie apocalypse. Our, our insides won't be here, lol. They rotted away. Dave Jones, can't wait. Ah, you minx. Edward Byrne, he's laughing. Mark Fontaine, thank God Dorian ain't asked Alexa to talk dirty. Alexa! Talk dirty. Wizard, okay, I'm gonna eat dinner, clean my room and show this new Kenmore. Yes, wizard, please. Edward Byrne, love any fizzy pop, I'm an addict. Dyson Lux, how much longer? Five minutes. Morgan, how long's left? Five minutes. Mark Fontaine, oh shit. Dave Jones, fizzy pop is bad for your bones. And your boners. Toji, Mark, shut up and stop bloody reminding him. <laughs> Garrett, I can't hear it. 
Mark, don't forget that pump. I won't, I promise. For Mark Fontaine and Morgan Leatherland. For Morgan Leatherland McGrain. Jordan Bunce. The newer Beckos are built by AEG, I think. Mark Fontaine. Will learn one day to keep mouth shut. Toji, I love the sound of the LG at 1400. Yeah, me too. It's like being on an aeroplane. 1400 RPMs and, the, and Dexter is fast asleep. Dexter? 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 Look. 1400 RPMs and the cat is out for the count. Morgan Leatherland, thanks. My, I'm watching right to the end because you're like my best friend. Ah, oh, thank you, Morgan. Really smooth, Green Clifford. That's true. Best LG and Mila, our best washing machine. Dave, Jason Derulo, talk dirty to me. Mark Fontaine, Dorian New Rock. Oh, thank you, Mark. Mark Leslie, Jordan Bunce. No, they're completely different companies. Ah, okay. Uh, Edward Byrne, that's on full spin. Should hear mine. <laughs> Uh, there's a there's a lot of um, bullshit going around about um, direct drive washing machines lasting longer and being stronger and all this, and it's just LG's bullshit marketing crap. The only thing that um, in an in an advantage with a direct drive washing machine, in in my opinion, is the, is the noise, the silent, the, the quietness. That's about it. I do not believe that direct drive washing machines wash better or last longer or are better or whatever. The only thing I really do like about the direct drive is the quietness. Toji, clothes must come out really dry after the 1400 spin. Um, yeah, they, they do. They're not, um, they, they're pretty good to be honest. Remember, performance reviews has the 1451 Electrolux that I have recently bought on his, on this, on his channel. Morgan, very quiet. I've got Hot Point at mine, so I'm hopeful of getting an LG soon. Dave Jones, ah, oh. Vacuum Chum, hello everyone. Hello, Vacuum Chum. Mark Fontaine, ever wash with fairy powder? Um, no, I haven't actually. That's a thought. Dyson Lux, yes. Graham Clifford, I got can Diet Coke in bed. I am not looking forward to work. No, after this long one. Toji, actually, it's physically impossible to break a direct drive through normal washing according to which washer 2007. Edward Byrne, vacuum chum, it's finished the cycle now, yes. Garrett, and don't forget, I sent you a picture of my crushed Sawyer. Ah, cool. I will take a look at that once I finish this video. So we are now finished the load. We're going to go into the step-in cycle. Jordan Bunce, don't use fairy liquid. No, definitely not fairy liquid. That will be major, major. Um, can you see on the back of the machine all those bloody scratches? Now dryer orgy, boys. I wish. Um, no, we're not going to do a dryer. We're going to do the pump. Vacuum chum. I'll be back soon. Uh, thank you for just subscribing to me, Dyson Lux. Morgan Leatherland. Uh, hip, hip, hooray, Harry. <laughs> uh... Yes, I am subscribed to Toji. I just wanted to double check. Uh, Graham Clifford, that not true. Book build in China shit. Yep, Mark Fontaine. Okay, pump suck. <laughs> Girl, calm down. Uh, 
Hope they're clean after the quick wash. Yeah, that was a very quick wash, I have to say. The step in motion doesn't seem to be very good. Everything's still stuck to the sides and the back. That is a very, very, very big load. <laughs> uh, thank you for... Ah, oh, that's okay, Toji. Uh, it's just a shame that you haven't got any content because you'd be... You'd make... I think you'd make really good videos. Mark Fontaine, if that ain't clean, I'll eat shit. <laughs> Becco and Indeset Hoover are built in China. Most washing machines are built. Oh, we're done. Okay, right. Let me move my bean bag and my cushions out of the way. <clears throat> Let me move some of my other crap out of the way as well. Is that light flickering? Right, I'm gonna have to shrink down the legs on my tripod, so bear with me while we bounce around. I can't read your comments at the moment. So first of all, oh, let me get my baskets. very quickly. Open the door. And let's take a quick look. Ah, oh, that smells really nice. Ah, oh, I can, you can really smell the Almat gel. It's not overpowering. But it's a lot stronger than most detergents out there. And it does. Oh, everything smells really nice. And um, the stuff is damp. But um, it's not... It's it's not... It's really quite dry. Right, let me empty this out. Look at this. So much stuff. Wait till you see the basket. Oh, that sounds like a coin or something. Oh no, it's the um Okay, so that is how much laundry fitted into that load. That is a huge load, said the vicar to the nun. Right, let me move this out the way. Oh, bloody hell, it weighs a ton. Move the camera down. Let's move it down to here. So you open the flap, and here is the little drain valve. And there's no water in that. So nothing has come out. Or do I have to take that plug off? Yeah, hang on. Oh, there we go. So there is some water in there. So I'm just draining it out. 
Amazing ball. <laughs> Amazing ball. Okay, so we've drained that now. So I'm going to. Open it up. And we will have a look and see. Now I haven't done this since I've had the machine. This is the first time. So it's a bit sudsy. Whisker. <laughs> How we have ended up with a cat whisker in the washing machine, but that's a cat whisker. And the rest of it is fine, nothing at all. There's a little bit there. bit of fluff there, a little bit of fluff there, let me get a cloth, and just stick a cloth in there, let me take the camera off the tripod so you can have a look inside. And there we go. That's pretty clean. So I'm going to put this back in and do it up nice and tight. Ta da oh. Right. Oh, there's Dexter. He's still there. Oops. Dexter. Dexter. Dexter, you're not going to move. No, he's not going to move. Uh, right, let's turn you around. Hang on. Whoa. Got a sweat on doing that. Right, let me put you on the on the counter. Continue down. So there we go. That's it. Huge load behind me. Hang on, I got a sweat on now. Oh. Uh, let's have a look for your comments. Uh, God, let's have a look. Uh, thanks, Mark. Okay, whoop. Dyson likes cool basket. Oh, I love that laundry basket. They're brilliant. I had them in um, Pound Stretcher, so I have a look in Pound Stretcher. Uh, sub to me all. Edward, did you wash for the neighbours too? I know, tell me about it. That's about a week and a half. Uh, fucking hell, did you empty the wardrobe into the machine? <laughs> That's only the uh, colours closed. Well, I, ch I have to change twice a day because when I'm doing the videos, um, I normally get pretty mucky covering bits and stuff, from, especially doing the refurb videos. I get filthy. So, no jokes there, Dave. Uh, did you overload? Um, 
I filled it up to the max. There was over 11 kilos. I didn't fit in five shirts. So it was over, it was over 11 kilos the load was. So I reckon it was about 11 and a half kilos. Holy cow, moo, that's what she said. Ooh, ha. Um, ha, have a handy towel. Amaze balls. How long has it been in total? I reckon so. I started it just after seven o'clock. So what time is it now? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, three hours, fifty minutes. The machine pees too. Yes, it does. Bed, it's clean. That was pretty clean, to be honest. Not bad at all. Calgon will clean it, making it last longer. Because washing machines live longer with Calgon. Um, washing machine glory hole. Very much. Uh, Mark Fontaine, you retracted his message. Why? Dyson Lux, peachy bum. Uh, Gamic, uh, ha nice kitchen. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I shall speak to you tomorrow. Good night. Nice to see you tomorrow in the next live stream. Thank you very much, Morgan. Uh, that's what she said. Yay. Thank you, Mr. Lux, for the entertainment. Thank you, Dave. Dyson Lux update on the Hoover Dirt Searcher. Update on the Hoover Dirt Searcher. The Hoover Dirt... Oh, yes. Um, yes, you will see them tomorrow. Um, good luck drying it all. Um, how are you going to dry it? Um, anything like T-shirt-wise and shirts and stuff I'm going to hang up. Uh, the rest I'm going to stick in the dryer. Um... If you do, can you read my last comment, please, Toji? Hang on. You should do a big size load like this one every so often. It's really fun to watch how the machine copes with it. Oh, thanks, Toji. Yeah, it's kind of like I know it took ages, and but the the cotton cycle is the one that I use the most, but it just takes so long. So I didn't want to be doing like. Four hour videos every week. Um, do, 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 do. Jokes, moi. <laughs> uh, Morgan Leatherland, bye. Dyson Lux, can we see the vacuum museum? Oh, I'll do another one another time. I'm going to bed. Dyson Lux, we. Yeah, it's very late. And I'm knackered. And it's 10 to midnight. And at midnight, I turn into a pumpkin. Oh shit, forgot the dryer. I'll do it next time. I'll do it next week. Um, if I get enough shirts up for this week, uh, for Mark, I will do a, um, a Speed 14 wash on a maximum one, you know, increase it and whatever. Um, and I'll do a shirt on that one so you can see how that one works. That's kind of like shorter, so I'll be able to do a dryer at the same time. So if I do a shorter watch wash on here, for next week's live stream, um, then I will do a video um, of the tumble dry. Uh, love you, Dorian. Love you too, Mark. Mwah. Thank you very much. Uh, well, thank you very much, Dorian, for providing four hours worth of entertainment. See you later and have a good night. Another great live stream, Dorian. Thank you, love. Thank you, love. Thank you very much as well. Uh, let's say good night to Dexter Morgan. Come here, Dexter. Oh, daddy is big. Boy, oh. oh, there we go. Let me just put you down a bit. There we go. So you can see Dexter. There we go. There's my baby. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for, for watching. I know it was a bit of a long one, but it was really nice to get to have a proper chat with you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. So on behalf of myself and here and we are. Daddy's kitty. Daddy's handsome kitty. Go back up there. Right. Anyway. Washing machines live longer with Calgon. <laughs>